All right. You guys ready? And we are going. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another outrageously amazing episode of Bustin' with the Boys. I believe this is episode 171. Correct. See you know? See? See? The the boy is not here. He's just enjoying the fruits of his labor. My man is in Maui, Hawaii, staying at the Four Seasons. So you know my man's done pretty decent in life. He brought old Rue over there and Charo. They are now in just enjoying the sun baking in, catching a couple of them beach vibes that we've all been arguing about for months and months and months. And you know he's going to come back and probably, maybe, gently, sing a different tune. I sure I sure hope so, because I gave a little leeway on my lake vibes. I do really enjoy the lake vibes, but I think once the boy really settles down, he might not fully get it because he's living, living a little bit of privilege. He's living a little bit of that four-season life, so he might not get the true vibe of, of that beach town and everything like that, but... I think he'll I think he'll come back singing another tune. One tune you never have to sing a different one on is our presenting sponsor. You guys know him. You guys absolutely love him and you see him on the road every day because they're the most dependable and reliable vehicle on the road. That is the Chevy Silverado. If you're looking to make your summer story a strong run, Chevy Silverado can take you there. And that story will start as soon as you take the wheel. The Silverado ZR2, or if you're in Canada for our Canada listeners, the Silverado ZR2 was built to tame the trails as the most off-road ready Silverado ever created. And there are eight more Silverado models to choose from to make sure the one that fits your life comes and is a nice little cozy for you. Silverado provides the strength and Chevy truck capability to handle whatever comes next. With Silverado, you have everything you need to not only write your own summer story, but also make it an unforgettable one. Take command of your summer with Chevy Silverado. What a way. I know we're in summer right now, but if you have the capability to go out to, I, I would say Freeland Chevrolet, if you're in the greater Nashville area, obviously we love Freeland here. If you have the ability and the want to and the need to, to go trade in, trade in your vehicle and get a Chevy Silverado, I don't care what summer you've had so far. You know, you might've lost a puppy. You, something might've happened, right? That real heartbreak hotel. Maybe someone broke up with you. The best way to get back on is to get one of those Chevy Silverados. Now I know puppies hurt and I know heartbreak's a tough one. Your boy's gone through it a couple of times, but the Silverado, especially that ZR, ZR2, those things will just make you feel great. Obviously, I'm sitting here, I already talked about, Will, your boy's in training camp right now. And I believe I've talked about one of my shout-out, no free shout-outs before. I'm a little sun-kissed. Did you guys notice? I noticed. Did you guys notice that I had a little bit of a tan on me? Neither one of you said anything, and that's okay. We wanted to wait till the podcast. Yeah, yeah, no question. As soon as I walked in here, here's how I like to think when I'm gone for a little bit, how it's going to go. And I just wanted to say, before I even get to the end of this story, it never goes how I want it to. When I'm gone for a little bit, your boy's missing the boys. I'm up late at night. I'm having bad dreams. What if they don't love me anymore? What if we don't have the same camaraderies we used to? What if, what if, what if? But then I think when I come back, there might even be a standing ovation. There might be the back of the bus completely full of dudes just with a fat clap saying, hey, welcome back, Tay. We missed you, babe. Unfortunately, that's not what happens. <laughs> I come in here. I pull up to our amazing shed, which, by the way, the AC is cranking great because it's a little muggy outside today. Thank God we're not practicing. And I'm thinking, I want to see Blossy. I want to see Garrett. I want to see Jack. I want to see JP. I know I'm missing on the boy, but maybe the boys will bring the energy for me. I come in. I open the door. I talk about how spooky our lighting is because we all know that Spooktober is right around the corner. And these boys are like, hey, so how are you, there? That was it. Not a whole lot of love back there, was it, Jackie? Yeah, there really wasn't. Energy's been a little low because, as you can see, it's just us three. Yeah. But I'm never in doubt that the energy cannot surge up at any given moment. At any moment, right. baby. How about how about this? Let's give a round of applause for Taylor being back Let's on the ball. Oh, yes, not for me. Not for me, baby. Back. We're back. God. And you know what hasn't come out, but is going to make us more back than ever? And keep the camera on Jackie real quick. And if you could zoom in on Jack's incredible hat, those boys aren't out yet. And I know Will knows the timelines because, listen, that man is, he's running this show while daddy's away at camp. All right. There it is. You didn't zoom in on it. It was tough. The, we're, we're missing the here. Floss is here to do it. That hat is, is that the Raiders edition one? I believe so. That black yeah. and silver piece. And I know Will talked about our best, our best and greatest demographics in the last podcast. Yes, I did listen to the intro. Um, he mentioned Big Red. He mentioned Nebraska. Those boys out there in Omaha, all around Lincoln, everywhere in Nebraska have absolutely been showing up for the boys. Obviously, 
Will referred to it, the origin story, how we became a thing. The Tennessee Titans fans are obviously always there for us. And also, Ray, my boy literally dipped his toe dipped his toe in the hot tub at the Oakland Raiders, was the Oakland Raiders, and then was the Las Vegas Raiders. Basically just showed up, had a quick cup of coffee, and boogied. But the Raider fans, man, shout out you guys for being epic fans and just buying into everything that we're doing. Now, this is a cry for help, dude. This is an SOS. If I had, the, if I was on the Titanic right now, I'd be hitting that little thing. Beep, 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 beep. Just calling my boys in Ann Arbor. I know the football team backs us. I know Harbaugh is a homie. I know the whole squad inside the building is absolutely loving the boys every single day. I would love to have an olive branch to stand on, to sit here and be able to look at Will in the eyes and say, hey, them boys in Michigan are coming. They're absolutely coming. And the only way for you to do that is just absolutely just fill our mentions. If you're going to go to Twitter, you're going to go to Instagram, your boy's off social media, but listen, I'm always welcoming followers. I'll be back high and mighty and fight. You know what, dude? You, oh. And here we go. Oh. Cause I got a thing here. Maybe we can get the followers up. Cause your boy's going to throw his hat in the ring in the million club too. Also, obviously will did that. Your boy wants to be in that million club also. And it's tough to get that when you're not tweeting every five seconds of the day. Not sure how will such a great dad. He's an outstanding dad. It's amazing how he's able to be on the bird at all times. But maybe we do an update of Taylor Lewan's followers every week in the intro. And that's not for me because I won't really, I'll be in and out and all around. Your boy's got to play a lot of ball, but maybe you guys just kind of see where we're at. Maybe we can jump those numbers up. You want to check in right now? Check in right now. I can't look though, dude. I can't okay. look. This is like AA, so, dude. So we don't even tell you. We just kind of. Just tell me what my followers are at right now. I don't need to look at my profile right, though because right I'll dive Twitter, in. You're at 155,000. Okay. 155.1 to be exact. I'll take the point one. I'll take the point one. All right, hit me up on Instagram. Let's see what we got here. You might benefit from Jack or me running your page for, you know. I thought about that. Know. I thought about that, this but then like, it's like, oh, this man back. Oh, I almost feed. looked. We'll I just almost put like looked. a follow at jhubby34. <laughs> yeah, the boys get their followers up on that. All right, and you're 210 on Instagram. So 155 on Twitter, 210 on Instagram. And it's not a bad start, boys. That's a solid foundation for the start of the season. It's all about perspective because me and JP are back here grinding for four and five K. So yeah. yeah, it's just, it's a constant battle. It's a constant battle. It's a battle that I've unfortunately stepped out of for the greater good of the Tennessee Titans. So you guys are welcome. Extremely Absolutely welcome. honorable as a, as a fan of the Tennessee Titans and not just your em employee extremely honorable move. So I'll always die on the sword for you out there, but that, that does bring up something. I know we're removed. This will be coming out Tuesday, but our Tennessee Titans played first preseason game on Thursday. That's right. And today is Thursday when today we're filming this right now. The boy, obviously the boy's not there right now. I, me and several other gentlemen did not travel to the game, but um, preseasons are tough, man. It's hard. You got to find out the guys you need and the guys you want. And obviously I'm not here to say who's going to do what and all that, but I'm stoked. I am so fired up. Plus, plus it's Baltimore. And for whatever reason, those guys have a hard on for us. Would love all the fans in Baltimore to come over to the bus, maybe learn about us and, you know, catch a vibe, catch a vibe with the boys. But if you are in, if you're in Baltimore and for whatever reason, you guys don't like us because that whole shady deal of us going on the, on the 50 yard line and breaking it down, which let's get over that. Right. And then you guys do it to us in the playoffs, which disrespectful right so now we've had a didn't mean to be disrespectful to obviously being disrespectful and now the ravens are you know they're that's they're that squad that's not in our division but low-key there's a nice little rivalry there right you hope to see them at some point got lamar jackson out there who's a future uh future guest on our podcast unbelievable guy i'm excited to see how the boys how the boys do and i'm excited to see how the operation is because there's a lot of changing of the guard right every single series there's new guys coming in and guys coming out and you're going from this personnel to the next personnel from an offensive point stand uh, from an offensive standpoint usually in the game you have your five offensive linemen but every couple of series dudes are coming in they're moving guys around and all that and i'm really excited to see how the boys handle that uh unique adversity when it comes to the preseason i'm really excited to see how the o-line does i think um not even speaking on talent we have probably from a from a, a bonding chemistry standpoint maybe the greatest offensive line of all time. Just from a, from a bonding, the boys are boys. I'm not going to sit here and talk about who's good, who's not, and everything in between because that's just your boy begging to get on a team meeting with Rabel and just get verbally assaulted, which he's 
We know we know Rabel's what a tier three. He's got to be a tier, at least a tier three. At least he's got yeah. little birds out there. He's got little birds out there. He's watching everything we're doing. I'm guarantee you right now, he's just sucking on a jewel, going these motherfuckers right now. These fucking guys. I mean, I, I don't watch all the time, but he's here. He is watching it, right? He's watching. Vrabel is a uh, man. Vrabel is just in his element right now. The way he's handling camp. Just mother effing some dudes once in a while, but he's got a great little. He doesn't seem. Uh, he doesn't seem tight. He seems like he's just, you know, in his in his element of like, hey, having a good time watching the boys. And I think the boys are working extremely hard right now. And I'm just talking about the offensive line. It seems like the boys are. We know what we're supposed to do, and we're asked a lot on the offensive line. Oh, oh, don't pull the social media up, Jack. I'm just to, okay, I'm off, I'm scared. Off. I almost looked right there, and I almost got back on it just oh. now. Just oh. like that, I almost got back on it. But uh, the boys are working extremely hard. And the weather's been, I tell you what, the weather's been love the first five or six days. Love. Because, you know, late June, July, it was in the hundies. Undies. You're in those triple digits. You're sitting in the triple digits and you got the mugginess of what goes on in Tennessee. Body. You're talking about an IV after every single practice. You got them tread marks like a heroin addict, dude. You are looking rough, dude. It's a tough, tough, tough deal. I think... Uh, but I've been loving this training camp, man. It just feels, it's obviously training camps are a grind. And we have Hawkinson on this week. And we talked about training camp a little bit. We talked about a lot of things. We'll dive into that after shadow, no free shadow of the week. But man, it's been a, it's, it's just a grind. And it's, but it's been like a good grind. Like you, it seems like everyone's like pushing the cart in the right direction. Pushing the cart in the right direction. I know there's been a couple of media articles out probably about, I don't know, me and Jamarco. Uh, getting in a little altercation. Here's the best part about Jamarco. Here's the greatest thing. Is your boy an instigator? There's no question about it, right? I, you're, I, I do like to say, I, I poke, I'll sit in a, in a room full of people and they might be arguing and then I feel it all calming down and I'll go, well, what about this? And the other guy's like, oh, what about this? And he gets real upset. So there was a situation with me and Jamarco. You know what? Having an altercation with somebody and then coming off the field and squashing it immediately should be a shadow, no free shadow of the week. Yeah. The maturity of coming, hey man, I, I did this. He's like, I did that. And we just moved on. Just boys being boys. I fucking love Jamarco Jones, dude. I fucking, I love that guy. He went to Ohio State too. Mm. Garbage school. He's, I mean, he's got a terrible taste. Terrible taste. But what a guy to have on the team, man. Works, works super hard. So I'm, I'm, I'm stoked to have him on the squad. I think it's time. Well, well, here, there's some, but while you've been gone off social media, our, our friends over at Pardon My Take on Monday after their Aaron Rodgers episode, they do um, Mount Rushmore. They did a draft on what head coach in the league you would want on your side in a street fight. Yeah. And Dan Campbell went number one overall. And oh. Our guy Mike Vrabel went too. And after seeing Hard Knocks this past week, I was obviously Mike Rabel number one draft pick. But? Without a doubt. After seeing the hard knocks of Dan Campbell, that dude is on another level. He's got juice for days. And we talked about that, the Hawkinson podcast. Mm -hmm. yeah. We talked about that. Who's, you know, who's going to win in that, in that street fight. And I feel like at first when Hawkinson was talking, he was like nervous about it. Like, how far do I go into this? But as we kept talking more and more, he got more and more confident about, you know, oh, Dan, he doesn't work out at all, but now he's, he, but he's still jacked. And the guy's got big hands. He can do X, Y, and Z. I'm taking Vrabel in that fight. I am. He's a scrappy cat. We, we've seen him hit the pad, We've though. seen him hit the bag, dude. Pull it up. If you're on YouTube right now, pull that bitch up, dude, and it's just playing as I'm talking to you. That man with yellow card playing, too? I mean, he's a psychopath. That's, a, that's some straight mom, get out, of, get out of my room type music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He got some hatred in those fists. Some absolute hatred. Jack, it's unbelievable how you pulled it up that fast. Uh, shout out part of my take for, for doing that. I saw Vrabel was at the top of somebody's list. Was that Billy's? Uh, it was, it's like a draft order. So Vrabel oh, so went in second overall. Second so overall. I believe it was Billy and Jake. Where are we at? You know, one and two, man. One and two. And I think that's really at the end of the day what we all want to see. Who else would really... Buddy from the Jets, and I know we had this conversation, but Buddy from the Jets, bald head, he looks like he's in shape. Yeah. Like he might do a little something extra that would pop him for a drug test type stuff. You know, he looks... He looks solid, but I don't think there's any other coaches out there. Yeah, that's a that's a strong man. He's got a good, he's got a girthy neck on him. You can just tell he can take a punch, probably. He can take a punch for sure. And would like it. 
and would like it. Eat it and smile at you with a tooth missing. You're like, holy shit, I kind of got myself into a bit of a scrap. Didn't I? So I think, um, I love, I think they're doing that just to bug us and I'm not going to overreact because they know we watch their stuff and they watch our stuff. Love Big Cat. Love those boys. Um, But I think Vrabel takes that, takes that 10 out of 10, dude. Um, Yeah, man. That's a tough one. I would say it is time for the greatest segment of our podcast. And that would be the shout out shadow of the week boys let's get it in and we gotta keep a little juice because we're missing a bunch of guys right now and it doesn't doesn't quite feel as right but you got to play through the adversity the way you can so we would usually start with bloss obviously uh he is not here he's working did you say he's working Work. he's back on the badge can my man even catch anybody right now no he's behind the desk right oh, now. oh yeah. he's desk duty desk pops he's desk desk pops all day when did you do last one uh oh, november oh. in 86 I would. We're gonna start with our man JP, who uh, I believe got ten bonks yesterday for being a little extra horny in our group chat. <laughs> ten bonks? Is that what you got? I was excited that you were coming back. Hey, well, you didn't show it. I, I think the bonks. I think the bonks in the text made you maybe not be as excited to see me this time. Like maybe it's gonna be awkward between us. I know. I wanted to put a, a big man smiley face at the end of my message oh. yesterday. Oh, Can't wait to been see nice. you tomorrow, big man. Oh. <laughs> That would have been a nice little deal, but, you know, Jack wouldn't let that fly. You know, he don't play none of that. Yeah. He don't play none of that. <laughs> Flag on the play. Flag on the play. What you got for us, JP? So this week, I am a little bit unprepared. Are you really? Yeah. You know, Will goes to Hawaii and everything just goes to shit, doesn't it? I've you know, just been grinding on all of next week's content. You guys have been putting work in, dude. For those of you, while you get your thoughts together, I'm just going to hit this real quick. And I know you guys are at the edge of your seat. Wondering what the shout out, no free shout out is, but it's coming, right? And if you got your ideas at your seat for a little bit, it's maybe going to mean a little bit more when it does come. The boys, I was unfortunately not able to make it because your boy's playing ball, but you guys went to Green Bay. You need to be looking at your computer and figuring out what you're doing for your shout out, no free I, shout out. I you got it. Be- I got it. Oh, you got it? Yeah. The boys went to Green Bay and they did uh, just an absolute... Just like, just like spring football tour, you guys are ripping podcasts left, right, and center. Obviously, the big name that you're all going to be excited to hear about is Aaron Rodgers. He's on a Pat McAfee show every week, right? Once a week and does a phenomenal job with that. One guy that I'm excited to see how he talks and how he is handling everything right now is David Bakhtiari. Huge fan of Bakhtiari. Uh, You know he's a boy just by the number he wears, but he also has a great personality. He's funny. He's he's just a great, you you would say it in high school, he's bubbly, right? Like he has a nice little vibe to him. Yeah, I said AJ Dillon on, Preston Smith, uh, LaFleur came on. Or who's HCL good. probably got the yeah. biggest piece in the league. We're probably thinking Matt LaFleur, if you just whip them things out, that boy's packing. There's no question. He walks hips first. So that's a bit of a deal for him. Uh, and now with that being said, you're going to enjoy all that. We're going to two episodes a week too, correct? Correct. For four weeks. For four weeks. And that's exciting stuff. Obviously, the more content we can give you guys, the better. But JP, have I filibustered this enough for you to get your, your boots under you? You did. That was, I really appreciate that. You're, hey, anything for the boy? Cool. Big man? <laughs> Smiley face. <laughs> um, so I've been cooking a lot recently. Mm. When you cook, it means you also have to clean. Oh. I also don't go to the store that much, so sometimes I lack on my cleaning supplies. So recently, I've been using a, a very mushy, soft sponge. Mm. which is just dirty and filthy and you just, it's like you're wiping your plate and it just gets more dirty almost. Oh, that's a tough sponge. So I'm like, oh God, I, I really hope we have one. Open the cabinet, crispy, firm sponge in there. Fresh yellow and green boy? Yes, fresh yellow and green boy, exactly. Oh, so My shout out, no free shout out, goes to fresh, crisp, yellow and green boy sponges. Dude, that is probably one of the most underrated shout out, no free shout outs of the week because they, you've been there. We've all been there where you look at your sponge or you look at that towel you're using to kind of clean everything off and you're like, fuck, am I just doing more damage than I'm actually doing, like benefiting the situation? And for you or your girl or whoever to put that yellow green boy in there, knowing that there's going to become a day where you're going to have to use it, looking forward, that's just maturity, by the way, looking forward, what an incredible situation for you to go through. And I'm super happy for you and also your dishes and the hygiene of your life. I believe that's hygiene, right? What you put in your mouth? Yeah. yeah, we can tell whatever we want. 
Uh, next up, obviously, Jack McPherson, the lady killer, not just the ladies, but the mother killer, dude, the MILF hunter himself. McPherson on here rocking an absolutely beautiful tie-dye blue shirt, rocking that new The Boys hat that will be coming out very soon for those three specific brands we talked about. Ann Arbor needs you to show up. Michigan needs you to show up big time. Let's see what you have for shout out, no free shout out of the week. Yeah, so my shout out, no free shout out of the week goes to saunas and steam rooms. Oh. And I know you can get behind this because I know you're like infrared sauna guy, but mm -hmm. I'm a little bit more blue collar. I hit that YMCA. Oh, buddy. And I've been getting back in the, the consistent a lot of consistency meat. of going to the Y at least like two or three days just hit the sauna because you know I'm on that gym regimen all day. But, My boy out there grinding. But I'm, I'm hitting that st uh, sauna and steam room and it's something different about like a big Y. You're in there and it's like, might be a guy your age and then there's like a dude who's 70 next to you just hanging absolute brain like walking around <laughs> butt ass naked <laughs> yeah, yeah. and and, and he, just no shame in his eyes he's seen a thousand lives and and mm. you're kind of there like covering up like got to you know, i don't want this guy to see my dick yeah but then all of a sudden you're like maybe he you know maybe he just doesn't give a shit so there's a nice like no judgment zone there so you mm. go in the sauna you get right come out feel refreshed get a little reset and you get on with your day. So I'm a steam room guy. I know like people are like very heavy stance on sauna or steam room. But whenever you're just getting a good sweat in, that sweat equity is, it, it tallies up. So so when you meet with this gentleman. <laughs> so the shout out to so naked, so shout out to naked dudes at the YMCA. I mean, maybe. So, so it's more just the non, I mean, and, and if you've been in that YMCA or just any major gym before where there's a big locker room you know the vibe i'm explaining like yeah. the old men in there with just zero shame in the world and yeah. it's not like they should but you know the, us younger guys are we're walking around there towed up these dudes are just like i said hanging absolute brain walking around and shit is dragging on the floor like yeah, i mean yeah you know dude the the uh the dudes are out there walking around i feel like when you when you were in this situation you saw him being so shameless about his meat and pieces would did that make you more comfortable to maybe let loose a little bit? Oh, um, yeah, oh. absolutely. Jack, I and I I love you being open. And I'm not gonna say this is the best shout out no free shout out I've ever heard in my life. I'm gonna more give you a warning. <laughs> <laughs> if you're at that YMCA or that 24-7. And you got some dudes hanging brain out, and you are like, oh, maybe I'll loosen this towel up too. I'm just gonna be holding on the boys. That's what they want you to do, Jackie. They want a hey, them boys are trying to take you down. No, dude. I'm just saying, dude. These, these, these dudes are fucking. They went to Vietnam. Dude. They're like still fighting off PTSD. Like, Bro, I'm mm. over here just trying to get a nice sweat in. And yeah. I'm in and out, no eye contact. I'm head down. Yeah. And that's it. Them boys are trying to get that that sweat on and that conditioning in. You know what I'm saying? You <laughs> This guy, I'm just telling you, and I'm glad it didn't go the way we might have thought of this was going, JP. I know you were thinking probably the same thing. Yeah. I don't want you to get got, my boy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not well, you're getting at a YMCA. Got. They will not give me. Especially the steam room. Listen, a little hack for the steam room. If you want to breathe a little better, put a little eucalyptus uh, oil in there. Or if you want to calm down and feel a little more relaxed, that lavender piece. That Dude, boy goes over there. Calm and, down oh, there. oh now. The way oh, you're now. Oh, now. Oh, now. That man goes over there next time you're in there and he takes that lavender essential oil and puts that shit down. You better get the fuck out of that steam room, man. Save me. You start feeling relaxed. Man, I am kind of comfortable. And then all of a sudden, his leg's touching yours, my boy. Oh, so just fucking, I'm hey, just telling yo. you. I'm just hey, telling yo. you what's what, dude. I'm just telling you what's what. And this is, dude, I'm just looking out for you. And I appreciate that. Yeah. But shout out to steam rooms and saunas. <laughs> Way to stand on it. Way to stand on it. Yeah, stand on it, dude. He wanted you to sit on it, but I'm glad you're standing on it, my boy. Hey, yo. Listen, I was just telling you what's what, dude. That 70 year old dude was trying to clap cheeks. I'm just oh letting you know. God, He's man. like, this idiot thinks I went to Vietnam. <laughs> Bro, he thinks I'm fighting PTSD, dude. I'm gonna give him that hard D. Listen, that man's rattling. Bro, me I'm just telling you, man, it's open season right now. You're getting peppered. I'm just letting you know. I'm trying to give you pepper now hey, so that boy doesn't give you that you salt later. It's good to have you back. I'm alley-ooping you for all dude, these. Dude, I'll tell you what. Thank you, dude. I'm out here yamming. Oh my I'm out, God. It's like LeBron when he's got his arms like that and D Wade's <laughs> behind him putting that shit down. I appreciate you. Go ahead and cut that up too, Jackie. Put it on there while, <laughs> while we're getting while we're getting the boy more followers while he does nothing for social media, dude. <laughs>
absolutely nothing. One thing too that I want to bring up, we'll get off the dudes trying to fuck you thing. The uh, the the steam in the sauna, it is kind of like a you got to be a, a Boston Red Sox fan or a Yankees fan type thing. For me, I think there's there's a life for both of them. And I know you said infrared sauna. I've moved away from the infrared sauna. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm not going to give a shout out to the companies I use, but I do like the actual like stone saunas now. Yeah, Get that 200 degrees, mm -hmm. just absolutely 20 minutes in there. You're talking to God. You think you're going to die at any moment, dude. Yeah, hey, you there? It's me, Margaret. Like, help me out. And then you get out of there, you hit that three minutes in the cold up to your waist, buddy. You want to talk about, there's a lot of people out there, listen, dare, right? Don't do drugs. But if you want to feel outstandingly high, hit yourself 20 minutes at 200 degrees in a sauna or 190, and then immediately you'll get in a cold tub if you have that access. Buddy, you're going to feel euphoric. You're going to feel so euphoric you let that 70-year-old man do what he wants. That's how comfortable you're going to be. So... I'm glad. Listen, we saved, we saved some rears today. We saved some, especially Jackie's buddy. And I'm stoked. I'm stoked for you that you didn't get got because that's a, that's a, that's a tough one. That'd be a, that'd be hard to come back from, man. Especially all that talking you do. Remember Nebraska? You remember Nebraska? Man, get, your, get your hand on my leg, <laughs> dude. All right, those are solid. Those are solid. And thank you, thank you, Jack, for letting me. I'm sweating now. I'm so excited to be a part of this podcast. My shout out, no, if you shout out of the week is going to come to those of you. Uh, if you're in high school and you're playing football, if you're in college and you're playing football, and there's a couple of days, I don't know if they do this in high school, but definitely in college, there's a couple of days you go and just like your shirts, like there's no, like your jerseys, there's no, there's no shoulder pads. And you know, down the road, those first, I don't know, three to four practices in pads are probably the biggest top five bangers of the season. Like boys are fucking hitting, you're getting after it. And you know that first day of pads is when you're going to find out who's who in the zoo. My shout out, no free shout out, is when you're walking out the pracky and you know it's going to be a hot and gloomy day and you saw, you looked at the weather and you meant, damn, boys will be talking right now. Boys will be hurting today. And there's cloud cover and a nice gust of wind, dude. And you know, listen, that man upstairs is really helping the boys out, knowing that we're going to clank some heads today. We're going to be sweating bad, but he broke us about five or six degrees in that weather. That is the best feeling. And the only reason why I remember to say this is the boys went through that the first couple of days of pads. That weather wasn't, you know, all that June and July stuff. It won that June and July stuff. So it was absolutely huge for us. So that is my shout out. No free shout out of the week. I feel like you legit, like when it happens, you really look up. Bro, you for real do. <laughs> He's just there. Like, yes. you're just grateful. Yes. Dude, that's such, a, uh, such an amazing feeling. Uh, such an amazing feeling when you walk out on that field and it's just got a nice cut of wind on you. Especially when you're in a, in a place with humidity like Nashville, Tennessee. Oh. Those boys out there at Lipscomb or CPA or, or Brentwood Academy that are out there and grinding with it and you get a nice little cloud cover with some wind going, you know, dude, oh, we gonna be aight. We, we gonna be aight. Um, listen, a lot of you, and I loved how Will did this last week. I did watch the intro of that. And I just, one, because I wanted to see what was up, what was going on, because your boy's kind of just got his head in the ground. I can feel the, the blinders slowly closing in as I'm zooming into my season. Um, and I wanted to watch, watch Willie and what everybody was up to. One thing that he... Uh, he said was, there's a lot of people that are coming in here. We've almost doubled our followers or our, the subscribers and everything since we started doing the spring football tour. And every single day, there's new people coming to this podcast and enjoying uh, the good times, the laughs, the locker room environment, the laughing back and forth. We don't take ourselves too seriously um, and, having, and having a great time. So obviously, the Hawkinson podcast is going to come up in the next five to seven minutes. And you guys can go and enjoy that. Those Detroit fans out there, I really hope you're in there. I hope you guys are Michigan fans as well and not Michigan State fans. And you're just like, hey, I remember the boy when he played 09 to 13. We can enjoy that a little bit. And maybe you, you start coming along and seeing us a little bit more, hitting that subscribe, unsubscribe, and resubscribe button. That is, uh, that's a huge way to get us in the algorithm. And also, when you guys are commenting big time on this YouTube or any sort of social media platform, if you're able to do that for us, that is huge. We're going to do our best to keep this train rolling the way it has been, man. It's been like a rocket ship. This, this uh, 2022 has been a big year so far for the boys of Bussin. So thank you so much. Hawkinson, uh, him coming on this podcast, we've obviously, he's been on the show before and he was looking like an absolute Rolling Stones album cover candidate. I know we did a little something with that. The boy comes in, 
He is uh, an extremely humble individual. He's a hardworking individual. He's dealt with the adversity that your boy personally had to work through when you first get into the, your first couple of years in the league. And it's like, we ain't winning a whole lot of games. It's tough to stay motivated. He talks about Dan Campbell and how much of a, a, a guy's guy he is. And I know we jumped into that a little bit. Everybody's going to beat him in a fight. Uh, we jumped into that a little bit at the beginning of this podcast. We talk about Tear Talk and my man, his favorite movie, I believe. He said his favorite movie, correct? Yeah. Is the original, is the original line. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, because it's God tier, yeah, right? It's, it's okay to say. Yeah. Is, is Lion King. So we decided to do for our Tear Talk uh, Disney movies. Will had a tough one. Will was picking Pixar movies left and right. I think I, I, if we ever do a Pixar tier talk, Will's already picked his and they're, they're in this. And I like to do that someday a long way down the road and see if he actually matches up or if he was just saying whatever to say whatever. Because yes. you know, in tier talk, your boy likes to know what the masses are going to love the most. And that's how he thinks he's collecting W's. I don't know if he's saying 100% true to himself. That's not, he's not here to defend himself, so I'm not going I'm not going to get into that. I think you guys are going to really enjoy it, man. He is an awesome guest. Obviously, he's come on for the second time. All those tight ends, man. The tight end, you boys, uh, Kittle, Hawkinson, uh, Tunyon. They've just been amazing. Uh, Darren Waller, absolute stud. I Twice he's been on the podcast, and I have not been on. I know, dude. And he's had, I, I love his story. I love everything he's gone through. So please enjoy this episode. Please do us a favor. There's big time merch coming out. Our boy Garrett is absolutely killing it in the merch game. We got the, well, that's kind of just sitting in the corner right there, but these new bomber jackets are absolutely muy fuego. It's going to be a good time, boys, and I hope you guys really enjoy it. For those of you who want their team, their colors on our hats and stuff like that, you got to keep going. You got you to just pound the mentions, dude. Pound the retweets, pound the likes, all that stuff, and uh, we'll see you. They'll before, see you. Before we cut in, Will actually just texted us a shout-out, no free shout-out. No, he did not. Want me to read it off? Absolutely. So Will says, shout out, no free shout out to peeing in the water, oceans, lakes, pools, hot tubs, doesn't fucking matter. It's orgasmic and feels incredible. Yeah. And anyone who says they don't is a liar. A hundred percent. If you go in, first off, the minute your toe touches warm water, it's like over, right? Oh, yeah. Go in there and you go to a pool party in the summertime. Everybody's in the pool and there's that one guy that's in there for an hour and a half. You think he hasn't pissed three times? You think he hasn't? And if you and if you don't think he has, shame on you. That's just straight ignorance, friends. That's just straight ignorance. That's an outstanding shout out, no free shout out of the week. That boy's in Maui right now, just serving us up some hot, hot soup. That was delicious, dude. What a good way to enter this enter this podcast with TJ Hawkinson. Thank you so much for supporting the boys. Let's get them tier threes up to tier twos and tier twos up to tier ones. Love you. Big hugs, tiny kisses. You're gonna see me in six seconds for a new ad. Listen, this has been, this could have been a shout out, no free shout out for me forever. Uh, especially during camp when, you know, your boy's showering two or three times a day. It's, it's, it's wild. But Duke Cannon, dude, there's social media. If you like busting the boys' social media, you need to go to Duke Cannon, enjoy yourself, and follow them because they're, they're outstanding. They're like a bunch of memes. They're making fun of people. They're having a great time. They have amazing products. They're big ass brick of soap. And I know people are all into the liquid gel soap and all that stuff. But you get this big-ass brick of soap, you put it in the little holster they have, you rub it up, you got suds everywhere, boys. You're getting all the nooks and crannies, you're getting around. It is an absolute gem of a piece to have when you're taking a shower. Another thing, too, they got that the shampoo. The shampoo is unbelievable. They have amazing scents. They have colognes that you can rub. You don't have to spritz it. You literally rub your fingy on it. Dap that up on the neck, dap it up on the neck, maybe one more time for the wrist, and you're, you're good to go, dude. You're smelling like a million domestic every single time. You use Duke Cannon. Check out Duke Cannon at any Target or on DukeCannon.com and use code BUSSIN for 15% off. They're already affordable prices. So you're getting 50% off also? Boys, we're stealing. I don't know what their margins are, but we got to be just beating them. We, we got to be beating them down with a damn broom. There's no way. There's no way they can be making money. It's so affordable. Love you guys. Please enjoy this episode. Goodbye. We rolling? Let, let's roll while Will goes through this, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, so yeah, Will just goes, well, as you're getting on, he goes, y'all want a coffee or anything? And then looks at me and TJ and goes, you want like, a, you guys like a, like a, some sweet, like a passion fruit, like a passion fruit, like a large passion fruit. My man is, he, 
He's retired. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, your ten Willie is yeah, your ten back. Willie is, a, is an ancient myth now. At this point, <laughs> alive the same and as the well, phoenix, dude. the same as the phoenix. Oh, I will rise from the real. ashes. I will rise from the ashes like a phoenix. And then right before you, uh, we jumped on. It was you like a chocolate, and then he just pauses and stares into my eyes for a minute. Because I'm trying to think about what the drink is chocolate called. Cold brew. No, no, no. But that's, that's not it. Said. But it's it's got cream in the word. Come on, bud. He's trying you to get can't them be eating that shit. You know that, right? Why not? Now, let me tell you something. Since I've been gone, I think you lost a little bit of weight. Ooh, I appreciate that. That's Hey, that's a shout-out, no free shout-out of the week type of comment right there. <laughs> I think you look kind of decent. Yeah, now, what have you been doing? You know, you're the type of dude that, like, because you got, like, bigger forearms, and you got good calves, and you got a trunk behind you, you pull a Buick. Ooh, like, when you, when you wear you a T-shirt, a wagon? <clears throat> that boy thick. Hey, you, uh... When you have a t-shirt and shorts on, it's like you can kind of deceive the eye if you're not maybe not as in good shape. You know, some people yeah. don't have that luxury. You have that luxury. And I ain't seen you with your shirt off. You don't want to. Well, it's not great. Well, I mean, it's not, it's not up to it's not up to the standard that we would like to see. Yeah. It. Those loose fitting shirts. But it's early. It's, it's it's July. You know what I mean? It's late July, Bub. It's late July, but my Camps season, in six my days. season don't start until December. Hey, I talked to John about you today. Oh shit! What do he say? He, uh, I went over and talked to him, and he was talking to me about, oh, you bought a new bus, like you kind of have a thing now or something like that. He was doing good at chirping me. He goes, "Can I ask you a question?" I go, yeah. He goes, "Do you think if uh, he called, he kept calling it the podcast show?" And after the third time, he said, "I'm like, hey, John, like I, you watch. I know you know like yeah, the name like, of this. You know it's a podcast. Clearly, you know what this is." He's like, "If we never brought Will in, do you think that podcast would have ever happen?" I go, "Oh, there's no chance. There's no chance I'd, I'd be doing a podcast right now." I go, "See." You're welcome. Wait, wait. He said, do you ever think if we, we wouldn't have brought if Will? If we didn't bring in Will, do you think that podcast would have existed? Oh. And I said, no. And he looked at me, smiled, and said, you're welcome. And I go, are you going to come on? And he said, maybe. Ooh. Which, you know, when we first started, he said, no chance. Come on, he said, no chance. So Did he ask for a cut? He said, he goes, when I retire, I'll come out and I'll tell all the secrets. But you and I was, he ain't, he ain't I, and I go, Ooh, hey, John, you're gonna be in for a minute, dude. How about when I retire, you come on and tell us secrets? Go. <laughs> uh, he go, he's gonna he's gonna GM longer than I play for sure. You got to. Right. Well, you know Pat has on like GMs, McAfee, like the GM, like GMs will go on his show. Yeah. But you know John, he likes to play that. Here's the thing about John Robinson, and I, I we'll get to you in a second, I swear to God. <laughs> I, I'm good. I like it. Uh John is this dude, John is yeah, TJ Hawkinson is <laughs> on the bus, it. second time on the bus, front of the uh, front of the bus. John is the type of dude. Got a great personality. He makes you laugh. He's very business, but like that's internally. Externally, he's very like business oriented. He looks like he only eats, breathes, and lives football. But that dude, he listens. Like he's going to see this clip that we're cutting for John right now. You're going to see there's, it, Bob. There's definitely no doubt he probably sees clips, but might get told other information based on like people in the family that watch the show. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's got a daughter named Taylor. She's all time. His wife's awesome. His wife has a podcast. And his wife asked Taylor, asked Taylor to go on the podcast, my wife. And uh, Taylor go? goes, goes, babe, is it cool if I go on that podcast? I go, yeah, it's 100%. And then I go, actually, say you'll go on when John comes on ours. So Ooh, now we're in a limbo. We're in a contract negotiation. She needs to come on before the, John. Do you the real secrets. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Taylor has talked about that. I'm sure Will's talked about that with Charo. Chocolate cream cold brew. We got That's there. Got. Hey, yeah. my man worked through it. Yeah, boy, it four minutes into a podcast on his damn phone. <laughs> Chocolate cream cold brew. That shit just sounds fat as fuck, dude. Dude, but it that is. That shit sounds like diabetes. Did you get a venti or a grande? Grande. Hey, have Ooh. you seen? Cutting the, calories where you can. Have you yeah, seen the cups? It's like 330 calories. I got peeping. I'm like, oh, this is going to be all sugar. Right. Have you seen the cups where they all, this. all the cups of fluid fill the same? Especially if you get ice. Like if you take a tall and you fill it into a grande. It's the same amount of liquid, and then the grande is the same as the venti. I got an iced Wait, latte from Dunkin' the other day, and it was all ice. It's all that shit's so ice. annoying, bro. The venti like, and the dude. grande are the exact same. The liquid. tall grande and venti allegedly are the same size, which it's like a it's like a magician trick. That boy's on TikTok. <laughs> hey, I, I, see, I saw it on like the reels. I saw it on the reels. I'm a little too old for that TikTok. Thing. I, uh, your boy turned 31 tomorrow. Hey, I know, I know. happy easy, birthday! Easy, easy. Appreciate you. <laughs> Boy, getting old though. But no. shit, hey, five minutes in. What's up with you, bro? Chilling. How's man. life? About ready to go back. So. Are you really? Yeah, Sunday. What's like? Uh, what's your vibe hey, going on? I'm gonna do my order. You, you, you do your thing. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, well actually, like, yeah, I'm, you're, you're not, not going here. back and forth. And I'm just thinking in my head, like, man, when am I gonna sneak this order? And so I figured I might as well just. Say <laughs> Are you ordering us some waters too? Yes. 
You sure you guys don't want a passion, like a large passion fruit? A passion fruit from Starbucks? He's trying to get us with him. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm not retired trying. yet. No, 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 no I'm not trying to take you guys down with me. Bro, you asked for a passion fruit. Yeah, but I think those, like, those teas can be, like, they're, it's like... They're all sugar. Check the calories. <laughs> they're all sugar. That's the thing people don't realize. Like, they go, oh, yeah, they hate the carbs. Hey, this, like, look at the sugar, dude. If that sugar's high... You don't need to be eating that. But there are some like order your no no order your shit that are zero yeah. like zero everything. Yeah, but they got like the thing that bugs me is if it's not like cane sugar or sugar or brown sugar, they usually try to hide it with like glucose or I'm, like. I'm saying, uh, but, but I'm talking about yeah or whatever. But shit. I'm talking about the unsweetened like actual just yeah. just a flavor of a tea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like you know it's not the bubble tea. Yeah. Huh? The bubble tea? I don't I don't I'm know not about a big that. Fan. I don't I'm know. Not a big bubble tea. My girl likes it. The little balls in the bottom. Yeah, they get stuck in like. They get stuck in your throat. Pause. No, no pause. pause on this buzz, buddy. <laughs> no pause. No pause on this buzz. So time out. What? <laughs> so these things, these little bubble tea boys, I've seen these. Yeah. There's a sushi spot in Germantown. It's low-key the best sushi spot in town, but I don't know why I can't think of it right now. You know what I'm talking about? It's in I, Germantown sorry, sushi. Coco's? No, not Coco's. Yeah, he's ordering. I know. <laughs> anyway, there's a sushi spot Passion in town. Tango tea. 35 calories. Oh, how much sugar is in that thing? It's a thing? blend of hibiscus, lemongrass, and apple handshaken with ice, and of course, passion. Mushrooms. And of course, passion. Yeah. So that could be something that's like unsweetened. It's just the flavors of what, what those three little ingredients are. Yeah. Know? Does it say made with love on there too? Because that's it what says it sounds like. Of course, passion. Of course, passion. What are you ordering from? Don't say it, uh, actually. Bleep it out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no free, free shout outs. <laughs> no free shout outs. I am ordering from. You better bleep that out, JP. He will. Nope. He said no. Nope. <laughs> hey, JP, you I guys were getting a little know. confident yesterday on that podcast. My, my, me? Yeah, you, well, not my, you. It was really Jack. My, 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 me? Yeah, no, I was. Jack been getting that, confident, man. huh? He's been acting different since I left. <laughs> I leave, bro, and the dudes in the back get a little, you little extra water? confident. Yeah, yeah, I, I get it. Water. There's a lot of room up here. There's a going. lot of room. Yeah. There's a lot of room. And Jack, Jack sat in my seat, and he was kind of owning it. He did a great job, actually. Did the, sh the shout out, no free shout out. He crushed. He did a good job. Good and, job. And, Jack, and Jack had a nice. Uh, he had a nice clap back on you. Yeah, he yeah. clapped me because I did like the oh yeah, and he goes oh you sound like you're making fun of yourself because I was making fun of his voice. But he That's slapped tough. me. I know, dude. Real I tough. know. How's everything going? It's good, man. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I'm doing all right. I had thumb surgery this year, but that was the that was the thing. Yeah, it's good though, dude. Well, it's, was it the UCL on the thumb? Yeah. Have you had that? Yeah, I got. I have it right now. Oh, really? But oh, I just, I just didn't fix it. No, yeah. I did it like the first week of camp last year, and they're like, you could do surgery, but it'll be like a week off mm -hmm. and all this. And I was like, just don't even worry about it. So I braced it. So you have to catch the ball. I know. There's a difference. I don't. Yeah. I don't need that thing going through my through my hand. This thing is like it's crazy. Did you do that too? Yeah. How it would just kind of go out like crazy? Oh, it was nasty. I went into the doctor, and the dude literally pulled it down to my wrist, and I'm like. That probably needs fixed. Yeah. Huh? And now, did it hurt when you did it? Yeah. And the, yeah. Well, see, I didn't know until after the game. Like, you know, the adrenaline during the game. Right. And like, it's, you know, play by play. You're like, all right, I'm going to go, you know, no matter yeah. what it is. Until you have to be crawled off the field or whatever it was. Like, my rookie year when I had my ankle, I had to crawl yeah. off the field. Like, but the thumb, I was like, I all right, cool. I'm good. Yeah. The next day, I couldn't hold a ball, though. I'm like, this is weird. This is tough. Yeah. So, so you, well, you had the surgery, and how long did it take? To come yeah, back, not long, like yeah. six six weeks. It's nothing, right? Yeah, and you just do, like the little the net motions. thing. Yeah. yeah, like stress balls. Yeah. See, I was doing mine, and they were like, "Hey, if they were saying a whole bunch of stuff to me, like you might r lose a lot of range of motion in your thumb, and a lot of this X, Y, and Z could happen." Mm -hmm. And it really, like, when I did it, it didn't hurt too bad. So I was like, "I guess I'll just play with it." And the first couple of weeks, it hurt because all the pounding on it. Right. And then after a while, it doesn't hurt, and it doesn't hurt anymore. And it's it's strong. Even pulling it down like that. Yeah, it doesn't hurt like that. Yeah. And if it's if I hold, the only difference is like I'll pinch something on this hand, but I have to like weirdly claw it. Oh yeah. With another finger, dude. Get that. No, it's tough. They, I mean, when I went in there, he was like, "Yeah, you should probably get it fixed, but you don't have to." Yeah. And it was like, the success rate goes down if you wait like two weeks. And I was like, "Okay, listen, like that shit." Yeah, because you catch the ball. I'm playing for a few years. So yeah. Like, I'm gonna. I'll get that fixed. What year is this right now? Going into four. Going into four out of Iowa, bro. Out of yeah, Iowa, go Hawks. Yeah, no. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, I'll say go Hawks. Yeah, Big Ten. I have no problem with that. That's Big Ten country. Right. Now, Willie over here. What? See, see, you, I'm you, undefeated you, against that. Are y'all... 
Y'all being rivals, is there you like played against me? Not you, but Nebraska. Hey, I'm two and zero against Iowa. That's all I know. Oh, you like that? You were only there they for two, two years. Yeah, we're two and zero. No, we came into the Big Ten. Big Ten. You were in the middle of that. So yeah, I got two years in the Big Twelve and two years in the Big Ten. Oh, oh man, so which one's it. harder? Big is that, Ten. Is that when you said that we were going to be at the little table? What's up? Is that when the head coach said that we were going to be at the small table? Our head coach that? said that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, Bo Pelini. Yeah. yeah. It was Wisconsin, Michigan, and Nebraska at the big boys' table. And then everybody else was at the little boys' table. Yeah, I mean, that was true at the time. That's not Wisconsin, Michigan, Nebraska? Definitely not. We're at the kids' table now. What? You're below the kids' table. Let's get that straight. (laughs) What's the the draw? You're not, are you, where are you from? I'm from Iowa. Okay, that's why you went, that's why you went to Iowa. I only had two offers coming out of high school. Where was the other offer? Iowa State. I held them off so bad. Really? Oh, dude. They offered me, like, coming out, like, sophomore year of high school. And it was not until junior, late junior year that uh, Iowa offered me. And Iowa State was, like, sending me all these things, like, please come, please come. Like, Cyclones, right? Just commit, just commit, you yeah, know? And yeah. I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm just, I'm just waiting. You know, were shitty then, too. Oh, dude, it was bad. They're better now. It, they are mm-hmm. good now. Yeah, they've done you a know. good job over there. But, yeah, it was, uh, it was an interesting time. High school's weird. High school's a weird deal. But, like, in what way are you saying that it's weird? Because I low-key loved high school. I'm like, saying, I never missed class. Like a recruiting, like a oh, recruiting yeah, thing, yeah, yeah. like the football thing, because it was like you have to prove yourself everywhere oh. you go, you know. And I'm from a small, I was from a small town, so anytime that you know we, I went, I played somebody. They were like five foot five, yeah. And so I'd have a highlight reel. I had a thousand yards, eighteen touchdowns a year, and it was like, no, you're not good enough because you're playing against five foot five. And I was like, all right, but I mean, still, yeah. I mean, Iowa football is probably. It's, it's probably so sort of like Missouri that. football. Yeah. Like to where the competition isn't that high. But for Iowa, it's like oh, across yes. the entire I'm a high school. Yeah. That's a Missouri, fair statement. There's, yes. there's spots, but it's like, you know, overall. Well, there's like, four A's in high school. And so we were in three A, and they were like, you're not in four A, so I don't know. You know so four A was the highest. It wasn't like one A was yeah, the most. Okay. Like one A. Like, yeah. I think it is here, right? One A is the highest. I don't know. In, uh, yeah. in Tennessee, in Arizona. Yeah, some good high school football from what, I, what I've heard. You see, the boy, the big five, though, Texas, Ohio. Uh, Pennsylvania, Florida, California. California, and then Arizona's probably like six. There's some dogs coming out of Florida, but then I don't some see crazy any of dudes. Them. Yeah, like you see them in the league much? I don't know, dude. We had a whole slew of Florida cats come out. Really? Like, yeah, have you heard of po- you ever heard of Pokey, Florida? Uh uh-uh. uh Pokey, Florida. Like I don't know if it's this way now, but like it's a wild like. I guess it's like a not a well off town, and the, but they have all these like crazy fast guys come out of come out of there that town. And uh, they would, like, put you in this big pen, this big grass pen with a bunch of rabbits. Yeah. And, like, your conditioning was go catch that rabbit. Oh. And that's, like, that's how they, they ran shit around there. And they'd come up. Wow. Dudes would come up from Pahokee, Florida, and you wouldn't understand a fucking word they were saying. Like, they would just talk, and you'd be like, I, I'm trying <laughs> to piece this together. You know what I'm saying? That's how Denard Robinson was, being from Deerfield. Yeah. Like, when he first came, like, he'd talk to you, try to tell you, like, the, what the play was in the huddle. Yeah. And you couldn't understand a word Denard would say. But them Florida boys are different now. They, they are. Get after it. Yeah, well, I mean they're After training all year speed, round. Like crazy. Right? They pick, li- they pick like right away though, right? Like mm-hmm. I mean, like middle school, they know what they're gonna try to do. They have one sport. I wonder, is that true? Or are you, are you saying? I mean, I think I'm pretty sure that's how most places are. Mm-hmm. I mean, I was from like I said, a small town, so I played five sports. Yeah, and that's like I say that to people, and they're like, "What? Like that doesn't make sense." Especially nowadays. Yeah, Kids I are- feel like it's changing a lot now. Where dudes yeah. like, like in hockey, if you want to play, it's been like this forever. If you want to play hockey and like take it seriously. You got to start early and start often. Yeah. Like you're you're flying up north to go live with Your billet families. Have to decide that really, right? Because you're starting exactly. When you're like yeah. three. But like in, when I was growing up, it was like every season it was like, hey, it's baseball season. All right, it's basketball season. All right, it's football season. Yeah. Like you're just playing. Yeah. Uh, to your point, like in Florida, I do think they do like football all year round a lot earlier than they're doing seven, like in, well, seven in the yeah, spring. Yeah, yeah but like, like, you, like, did you have spring ball in high school? Mm-hmm. No. Oh, we had spring ball. No. So like we had camp in August. That was it? Yeah. yeah oh, no August way. Yeah, because yeah. we were... Two weeks When you got to high school, you were, it was full-time like that. You'd work out, and then, like, right in the middle of March, April, May, you would have, like, spring football practice. No. That's crazy. Yeah, there's no spring well, football practice. Baseball your helmets? in Iowa was in the summer. So, it's weird, right? Because... That's every, how it was in Missouri. Was it? Yeah. Okay. Because you most places, it's in the spring, and then they play AU in the summer. And I wanted to play baseball when I went to college. Man, you made you a mistake. In high school, they played in the summer? In the summer. So, like, you didn't have a summer oh. if you played high school baseball. So like. After my sophomore year, I stopped playing high school baseball because I needed to go to football camp. Yeah. And it was, like, a weird thing, like, to stop because that's what my brother went to school to do. 
Play baseball? Yeah. Were you a beast? Yeah, I was. I had fun. You were like that? Oh, dude. <laughs> was, it a, was it a decision? You're like, man, oh, I kind of don't know what I want to play? Well, baseball is a weird recruiting class, right? Like, because you have to go, you have to play USA teams. You have to do all these things. Is that a spider right there? That just got me. Spooktober's, right there? Spooktober's yeah. coming. We always got a little spook in here, oh, dude. Man, that was nuts. Hey, that was that freaked you out like that. that. Do you want to hold it? I was it? like, dude, no, no, I'm good. <laughs> like, hey, you're about it to got right by die, like, yeah, bro. Yeah, no, I was like, this holy shit. Little yeah. danger. Look at that. This he thing? saw like, this <laughs> behind my knee. You got oh extra vision. Oh my gosh, that was nuts. You know, but, no. you know how it is in baseball. Is that a spider? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you were dialed in on that one. I was. But were, like, it is weird. It's a weird like recruiting thing because you have to play all year round. Like you have mm. to play spring in high school. Ball ball. And then you have to play AU. And then you do like a U Triple C. You do like you have to go to all these these places. And then it's not even when you get drafted, it's not even you go to college hardly. I mean you, you can, but you go to triple A or you go to double A and then you work your way up to the mm. big leagues. It's like and then I got a lot of offer. I mean, I got a lot of like recruiting letters in football. And I was like, okay, this is going to be an easier route. Football's going to be it. Yeah. Now, now did you did you want to go to easier, right? Because you get an offer and you go to school and then you. Oh, it's it way the, the path to success in football is way more linear than any other sport. It feels right. like yeah, baseball. Right the way you explained it, it hockey. Hockey's I don't know. Weird. Basketball seems pretty straightforward too. One and basketball done now. One and done. Yeah, you can get there quick. Right. there quick. So basketball is probably the easiest just from like a straightforward trajectory. There's so many kids playing basketball, though. That's there is true. In football, However, there's, 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 there's a lot of kids playing football, but basketball, there's only five exactly. that play. And five like that play. on a roster in the NBA. What do we have? 53 and then 53 plus. 53 on a roster. Now 48, 13, 40 address. 13 man 16. practice. 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16 man practice man squad. Practice squad. Yeah, 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 Will's staring down that P squad right now. Man, 16 of them boys. He's trying to, you're 10 Willie. Only if my contract's guaranteed, Neil. <laughs> <laughs> one day. Man. You know what I heard? I heard that you were trying to do the one day to keep getting to, like, year 20 or something. Oh, you listen to a part of I my listen take, to huh? it. I listened to it. Yeah, that's what they were talking about last time I was on their big cow. I was like, you should see if Rabel, like, just sign you one day each year in OTAs. And then so that way, like, But it wouldn't years, be credited. You'd have to make it three weeks. For sure. But he's just saying, like, you would just be, like, year 20. The longest lasting football player. That would be some shit too. Like, what if <laughs> he would get it going? Too. Like to give incentive to a team. Why wouldn't they, why wouldn't they like pay you for the three weeks? You take that money and you say, I'm gonna donate all of it. You donate all the money, but like you just keep staying in the league with credited Ooh, that's seasons. A good idea. And so it's like, hey, I'll hey, J Rob. I'll just donate anything three you weeks, want. I will donate all of my paychecks yeah. to whatever charity of your and choice. You're just in year 45. You're, you're coming out. And of then, that, bro, okay. you're in Dennis Book. No one's ever beating that record 45 years in the league. That check when you're 55 is going to be nuts. Hey, him? <laughs> him? Timothy. Hey, but that 401k. Yeah. Ooh, we'd be running up the numbies. Holy hey, you'd be, cow. <laughs> but if you that 401 yeah, you'd have to donate it at all. You wouldn't be able to put in the 401k. No, no, not my 401k. But my paycheck. Oh, that's true. I see what you're saying. But they take it out. They take it out before you get the paycheck. They give you a monthly paycheck at the end, right? So, Based on how many years you got. Yeah, but now. Pension, that would still play. That'd be good for the pension. So it's like J-Rob, if you. Whether it's J Rob, whatever GM out there, if you want to be charitable, donate to a charity of your choice, while also like helping, helping yeah. out one, helping out one of your employees along the way. But imagine being the dude that had to get cut for you to make those three weeks. <sighs> we wouldn't talk about that. You know what I mean? Yeah, you—that's one of those things you swipe under the rug. Yeah. yeah. Like you would be like, it's all good, and then there'd be like these little side conversations coming out, I'd be like, no, nah, he fucked me. I'm the reason why yeah. I got cut. And people, we would just be like, hey, get the fuck out of here. At first, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. At first, but like three years from now, people would know coming onto that team, like this is only a 52-man roster for the first three yeah. years. Yeah. You know the Titans, man. Yeah. It's just a 52-man roster. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to do it early, too, because you want to get into injuries and stuff like that. Right. For yeah, sure. So you got to do it early. Like, then you want to, like, I, I, the first three weeks, then you enjoy Spooktober, like you enjoy holiday season. Yeah. You know, you don't have the stress of like... Just kind of take your backpack and put it on and just zip it up and go, all right, boys, I'll see you next year. Yeah. And you're just gone. <laughs> I don't even bother going up to GM's, GM's yeah. office to get cut. We all know why I'm here. Yeah. See you till Monday of yeah. four. You, how about you go to camp, dish out some waters, hang out, and then get vibes. cut. Pro vibes. Pro vibes. And you're yeah. just a vibes guy the yeah. whole time. Then Thursday of week one, you get cut because you have to make it to Wednesday, right? Yes. But then you're guaranteed for the whole season. So maybe I'm fucking that up. Yeah, you would be. That mm -hmm. would be fucking it up. I could go to camp. I say I get cut. Okay. And then after uh, a Thursday. couple weeks, three weeks or whatever, then you bring me on. Then that way you know it's not guaranteed for yeah. the entire year. I did ask J-Rub to bring you back, and he laughed at me. <laughs> and he, 
He goes, yeah, probably not. He goes, uh, I go, we got extra slots, don't we? And he goes, mm, we're pretty full right now. Yeah. Like, we got oh, 90 guys. Yeah, we're guys. pretty we're pretty full right we now. I was like, know, man, we all know the bottom, you know, five-day so five be- guys, like, you could easily make something But happen. if you brought you, like. There's no question about it. If we, we can laugh, but there's no question. If you got brought into camp, though, right now. Ooh. But that would be tough. If, you're, if, you're not making so. that. You're not making no. that conditioning test, bro. Whoa, I just drove four. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> yes, I am. Oh, you think so? Yes. What's y'all's conditioning the test? That's conditioning test. It's ten. It's ten fifties. Uh, Forties. Oh yeah, middle group fifties. Yeah, 50s. middle group's fifties. Ten fifties. You take like a minute and a half, two minute break, then you run ten more, all straight ahead. Oh, that's it's not. not yeah, it's bro, not I did hard. fourteen of those things today on like a that uh, a one to one ratio, and I was fucking gassed today from all that driving it's hot dude well it's not even that dude like You're i was like, i water. was hurting because i took four days and drove across country yeah sucking in fumes sitting on my ass the whole time like you could tell like my gas tank needed a recharge but it was low-key kind of embarrassing frank's like you good i was like yeah we'll see you tomorrow because <laughs> i've been running like crazy you know i mean conditioning is my thing that's my weapon yeah no today you're breathing in water though i mean really yeah well, like, for real it's humid it's, it's really hot out there. Humid. And this is the hottest I've ever seen it in nine years in, in Tennessee. Yeah. Like, it's progressively... I remember being in camp and be like, man, it's 85 today. Boys are fucked. Yeah. And now it's like, yo, if we can get 85, holy shit. The cool breeze. Uh, Michigan's they, nice. You, so My first couple I would, years... I would agree if it gets in the hundreds. If it gets in the hundreds in August, for sure. Because it was in the 90s when, when we were in camp in, like, 18. Because I remember, like, thinking about quitting. <laughs> <laughs> Will does do this shit, dude. Every so year is his last dude. year. I I love you because I think you're one of those most negative. You I don't know this. I don't know. Oh, this. oh hey, like, no, that's negative, negative, a negative person in the locker room. Like, is that is that like your vibe? I'll talk for you. I'll talk for yeah, you. Like, I'll talk for you. He's yeah. been around me. Yeah, I, no, I, I want to hear because like that's that's guys that I like sometimes run on is dudes that are just like fuck this dude. Like, yeah, and I'm like. I love you, bro. Because I'll never say it because it just can't come out. But like dudes that are around me like that, like I got some guy in, in the in our in our room right now. That's his name. Like, who is it? He's a, he's a dude. <laughs> he's big, a, big time. Uh, like he was in the military for a while. Yeah. And just big time boy, dude. Like great dude, great vibes, and just will come in, come in and be like, this is gonna fucking suck. And I'm yeah. like, I love you, bro. <laughs> I love that because I run off that shit. But I can't say it. Otherwise, it just fucks with my mind. I feel you. Yeah. How would you explain me? I would say Will's um, the glue to any room. People in college, I used to call him the gatekeeper. Like, between no, the white the dudes and black dudes. Oh, at the Redskins? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's like a dude that's the like full, full camaraderie, living. always smiling, good dude, like has a good vibe about him. Now, I don't know. You would never do that with me. I never heard you say, man, this shit sucks. This shit's awful. But no, I do. It's not, it's but maybe like, when you're around a guy like Harold, who is like that, it's not like a, this shit sucks. It's sh- this shit's awful. But you'll find the sucky things to say about it to like grind through with the boys. Right. Mm-hmm. Like no, it is. Like, like I want to be at the cafeteria table to where we're having a good time talking right. about like yeah. fuck. We got the pads on Wednesday. Like you already know, this is gonna be a grind. Boy. <laughs> uh, Talk a little shit yeah. about it, but you know, like well, that's how that's the camaraderie. Everyone's thinking of it. it. Yeah, yeah everyone's thinking of it. Yeah, you want right. to say the things that people are thinking to yeah. make them laugh, and like you know, we're all gonna enjoy ourselves. Like head coach is probably gonna bitch at us for X, Y, and Z. Of course. And then you start. Every, some people start mimicking like how their coach coach is in the room. He's yeah. gonna do this. They're gonna do that. Then we're all having a good Bro. time. Hot tub. Somebody looks up. All right, let's go fucking diet practice, boys. Yeah. And then you like go, right. and then it's just like a camaraderie thing. Yeah. And yeah, you get used to that part in camp where you're like you know like how long the practice is. How practices are, so it's like 11.30. You know you're going to be done at 1.30. And you look at it and go, hey, boys, two hours. We're home free. <laughs> two hours. Yeah. Right. And, that's, and we're good. All we got to do is make two more hours. Around. And God forbid you have a day off the next day. Oh, come on now. Yeah. Come on. That's the best. Yeah. And then just in the middle of training camp, or like you're starting to warm up for practice. Yeah. You go in the training room, like you're hitting the Theragun. You're like doing all this stuff to warm up, and you just sit by somebody. You're like, just got to make it through week one. Just <laughs> got to get tough, to week dude. one because everybody laughs because you'll get it. Right. You know, you'll get the guaranteed money after that. But everyone, there's like all those little inside jokes that you're always fucking yeah, like. No, it's fine. I mean, yeah. you don't hate. That's how the did. boys came about. The boys, yeah, like camp, like you know, camaraderie was a, like you're for the like. Will and I would walk in. I still do this. We go. You're in the uh, hot tub where everyone's. You know, everyone's right there before camp before they get ready, and you walk in. The boys, and then slowly but surely, dudes would start recalling. Like you say the boys in the restroom, even if they're looking at their phone, go the boys, and they just get back to their yeah. phone like they just knew. Right. Like, and it kind of was like a nice little deal. It was a nice deal. There's a, one thing Will did, a fantastic, Will was talking about making fun of your coaches. Will did a whole skit on Vrabel in 2018. Oh 
my bro. God. And it was about spot that. on. I don't, did they There's film it? There's a film out there Brian Arakpo did. I th do we have a clip of it, JP? I think there might be a clip on YouTube. Bro, Rack is an all-time cat. Talk about dudes, dudes that love the bitch. Him, Wesley Woodyard. Jerome Casey didn't really bitch. He was on that OD yeah, leadership yeah. stuff. But like though that little that squad of dudes, Michael Griffin when he was there, that was a while ago though. These dudes would like be together and just like that. If you wanted to let off some steam and have some dudes welcome you with an ear yeah, of like all this yeah. shit you want to talk, like those are the dudes you gotta go talk to. You, you have to have that. Like you gotta have dudes room. like that. Like, I mean, you love what you do, but on the same hand, like it's just like you well, get it's to like talk to other it's people. like embracing like, the suck yeah, with each other. Like it's yeah. it's great. Like you're not gonna actually go sit around a table with guys who do who are like talking shit and you're like, oh, they're kinda like fucking losers about it. You wanna be around like the good old boys. You wanna be the about the OGs too. Yeah, the dudes yeah, that have been in the league be for around, a little bit. Yes. Right. You're like, I would say like year six and above. Like you're year six and you're like a dude that's kinda like played a lot. Right. And done a shit. Those dudes and up. You're around them and they're bitch and you feel a little more comfortable. Like, all right, cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or you're a young guy and you're so stressed out. Like, man, my... It's just uh, hard as hell. I wonder if yeah, everybody else sucks. feels this way. It sucks like, yeah, like, man, he's calling me on meetings. And then you have a vet who's been around long enough to know, like, he's playing a mental game on you. Yeah. And then the vet's just like, dude, fuck that. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. And you're kind of like, oh, really? And, and then they, they kind of, like, put you on game. And then you're like, oh, I'm part of the crew right now. Yeah, yeah. You feel, team hey. meeting tape's a real thing. Bro, team oh, meeting... Right. What are you talking about? I practice? Oh, oh, it never yeah. gets easier either. And if Rabel's going to see what I'm saying right now, he <laughs> he's a big fucking dude on, like... Losers get together in small groups and talk shit. Yeah. Like, that's like his big thing. And we just did that. A small oh, little shit. group getting Phil and talking shit about how shitty camp is. <laughs> that shit sucks, though, Vrabel. This shit's all, it's awful. I yeah. hope this plays you in the meeting room. You know, Vray was a guy you wanted to sit with in the cafeteria because oh, okay. he's all. Like, Vray's a boy, dude. He's yeah. one of the boys. He's, he's a homie. Got, uh, he's a head coach. Yeah. No, that's how Campbell is, too. This guy that played. Like, yeah, dude, bro. He seems like it looks like those two are really boy. in a battle for dude, bro, coach of the year. Yeah, yeah. and but it's like, you, who do you, you think would win in a fight, Coach Campbell or Coach Rabel? Oh, dude, I don't think Campbell. I'm gonna be real serious. I don't think he's worked out since he's been a coach. Dude is Jack. Like mm, that's hard. I, I thought that was going a different direction. Yeah, so did I. Like, no. Rabel works out hard, but he's not necessarily like Jack. right. So I'm thinking. Yeah, but he's got the, think he wears the windbreaker. He does a lot of things to make himself look better than he actually does. A lot of layers, but he works out hard. We're biting off kneecaps, yeah. too, boys. Do you think he works Rabel out? Rabel doesn't yeah. have him when he's done. <laughs> when he's done, bro. Rabel's like a. Uh, I don't know. I fuck with Dan Campbell though. Like I his vibe Rabel's of what I see. Everybody in the league. Really, I do. Who? What who? about uh, the the coach for the Jets? He was the D coordinator for Rabel's San Fran. Bro, he's, he's kind length, of a yoked man. cat. He's got length. And you, and you, you he's know. He's got a strong chin, dude. I've seen him have that stupid fucking pat on his chest and get cocked right in the fucking chin. And he, he eats it. He gets he's a little a, more mad. He's, he's a, yeah, he's an Ohio guy. Shut and the it, fuck up with the Ohio stuff, dude. The Ohio I don't need, sorry. You know what? That was too much. <laughs> that, that was I got mad. That was a lot. That was my college. Right that was my yeah, college. Yeah. I, but I'm just saying, like, Ohio's like a blue collar state. Like, he grew up like a, like a, like a blue collar type guy. Yeah. Yeah, he grew up basic for sure. <laughs> but I'm just saying, you know, like one of those white dudes who probably gets drunk and is probably like aggressive. Yeah, like he's probably he's like a one drunk of those wrestler guys. for sure. Yeah, he'll get you. He'll get you drunk. Hey, what's up, man? You right, all right? right. You're like, like, yo, yo, oh, man, take it easy. Hey, relax, Reigns. It's all good. Like, in any time you want to, yeah, I bet he was a wild man in college. Yeah, and anytime you want to play fight, like after practice or something like that, like he's all about it. Yeah, he's he in the stance, like grabbing like, your wrist and shit. Too serious, a little yeah. way too serious. <laughs> way too serious, like, dude. I was just joking. You know, who's a sleeper, Matt Lafleur. I think I think, so. I think I think Lafleur's a little because he's got that like he's got that like Elon Musk kind of like he's looking through you while he's talking because he's thinking about ball like his, his he's so smart math but he's on scrappy head, dude, dude. He's strategy he's scrappy and he I bet she's got the biggest penis we talk <laughs> about it all the time yeah hammercock we call him hammercock Lafleur for a reason dude he you is had Bobby on the podcast last week Jessica I did not ask him about how big uh, Lafleur's piece <laughs> was I should have call Bobby him was a good I think time. he would tell you different though Maybe really. Not. I don't know. He might. He might. He I mean, might. you think you watch you watch any an about him. He does. You watch any porn, any reality porn. It's always some skinny delivery boy. And he just he looks just like Matt LaFleur, the same body type. And then they pull that thing out and you're like, gee, it looks like that fucking whiskey <laughs> bottle. Always got a third Matt leg. Might not be tall enough though to to, to hit yeah, those measurables. So. All about the hands. So stretch. Hand? Yeah. I can't remember his hands though. Oh, we shouldn't talk about hands. <laughs> I know <I'm> not, <laughs> I know fuck me. Me neither, bro. Stretch, Stretch has got, Stretch is that dude. Yeah, Stretch has got a hammer. There's no question. And you know, he bet me this year. Did I tell you about this bet? I don't think. Maybe. It was like he he bet me whatever the the whatever you're allowed to bet is in the NFL PA, two hundred fifty dollars. Plus, <laughs> I told him we were coming on the house state game. I was like, hey, 
if we win, Michigan wins, I get to see it. And I, I get this, like, I get real close in person. I get to see it. And he goes, <laughs> like, last goes, <laughs> okay. That's how fucking condescending he was about it. Then we're flying up to New England. And I'm watching it. I'm just looking at the stretch. Like, I'm going to get a good look at that thing, aren't Did I? Did you see it? No. Like, get to and the... he won't let me see it. He's, he's like, stop being weird. It's like, what do you mean being weird? Well, bet's a bet. Yeah, I know. Like, what do you mean? Being weird. You're being weird. Show me your penis. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> let me see that thing. Man, yeah, anyway. How about those guys that go into the stall to change, though? That... Whoa, you got those what dudes? Do you mean? In Detroit? No, have you ever had those guys that you've played with? Hold on, who? Yeah, who in, not there very long. Who in, they there. go into stalls to change. Yeah, you've never had that. Mm. I've had guys try to change like while they're the wearing their towel. Stuff. Yeah, mm. it's just like, come on, man. Like, yeah. not that I'm looking, but let's see it. <laughs> I mean, you got to see who your boys are about. Well, I had a dude last year. We had a dude last year who took his towel, like the front of his towel, and he'd tuck it in his armpits, and it looked like a gown. But from the back, it was all skin. But he. I mean, did you say that's hype? That's hype. He's just showing his cheeks in the fucking Bro, in the locker. Room. He would tuck it. He would tuck his armpits and he'd walk like this to the shower, and then he'd like be in the corner of the shower, like. But he was in the corner, like so, like up to something to type of vibes. You know what I'm saying? The whole time, like he would shower real quick. He'd get this area, and he wouldn't. He wouldn't face you. You'd talk to him, but like, yeah, yeah, for sure. He wouldn't turn around and talk to you. Yeah. And then he'd put his shower, like this towel back on under his armpits. Small dick vibes. I don't know, dude. He might have had, I mean, I don't he might have something going on with it. You know, maybe it was a little. Who's hmm. got the, who's got the, who's <laughs> yeah. got the alpha in the Detroit locker room? The who's alpha? The what? The alpha. Oh. Dude, I don't know. I've seen some big ones. I don't know about, I don't know about Detroit. I'm not really a, I, I'm not an eye gazer. But no one's like an eye gazer for real, but you no. catch them. No, but if you're in the shower, like right but, now, I'm, I'm in the shower and I'm, I'm here. I can see both your pieces right here, right now, if I, if I want it. It's just, a, it's a periphery thing. No, and dudes, you say they don't look. I don't know if I can say a guy though. I don't know if like I. You got There's memory like, like oh, that? he's got a fucking hammer. Do I have a memory like? I got a pretty yeah. good memory about it. Brandon Hawthorne, <laughs> Hokie, Florida, and Michigan. Josh Jackson, Iowa. Dude went down to his knee. God. Amir Abdullah. But mm, you've told, you've spoke highly about him. Yeah. <laughs> Johnu. Yeah, remember Johnu. Johnu. No, I don't remember Johnu. Tony Smith. <laughs> Yeah. No, I don't remember. Like, it didn't burn in my mind. I got you. Was it like that? I just thought he was he was well proportioned for like how <laughs> jacked he is and stuff. Yeah, you had you know what I'm saying. He had beautiful yeah. teeth, also beautiful teeth. Got him overseas. Beautiful teeth. He had a deep voice. We were, we were talking about how much we paid. I'm like, do you really pay like two grand for all those teeth? Mm. Yeah. You know. Yeah, because he did it like can't, like uh, where the fuck did he do? It was like third world country. It was like in Mexico or something like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, you went down there. Yeah. All of them. He got them all done. All of his teeth. All of his teeth. They lasted. Yeah. They look great. I mean, yeah, they look yeah. phenomenal. They look good. Yeah, years. maybe maybe not like... He's like, the most built tight end. Like 14. That's not bad. No, I know, but when he's paying two grand... Right, that's that's the proportion. Yeah. Do so, you do bottom row or just top row? Just top. You gonna do your bottoms? Because, no. Why not? Because the way, like, my profile, like, you just see my top teeth and I don't, like, I'm not gonna fork up more money just to have my bottoms just for... I thought they were, like, 25 now. Depends on where you yeah, go. I can. Like, yeah. I got eight up top. Oh, really? So you just yeah. got the front eight. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's... So you're Why don't you do, like, a little diamond or something? <laughs> Jeff Okuda. That boy's got a diamond. Does in he there. really? Yeah. That shit kind of goes hard to it me. Does. It does. It does, dude. smirks, and I smile back dude, every time. Yeah. I'm like, dude, that's I think sweet. it's just the sunlight. Yeah. The eyes, dude. That shit would be sweet. You should think about that. Getting a little diamond in it, like a little twinkle? Yeah. I'll think about it. All right. Like, I'm not against it. <laughs> what else can we talk about? Uh, hey Taylor, I think your theme became unplugged. Your mic. Oh, uh, you. So up. we can agree, Vrabel over Campbell in a fight. I won't agree to that. I don't think Vrabel's coming so out. When... So you're thinking Campbell over Vrabel? So, yeah, but so. if you do disagree with us, you need to take a stance right now and let's say it into this camera. Yes, I'm taking a stance that I don't agree with you. And you what think... do you believe? That Dan Campbell is taking my Vrabel in a fight. Wrestling match. Wrestling match or a fist fight? Mm, dang, that's different. Because, like... That's different. If I wrestled Will, history shows Will's going to beat me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It is different, but, but, I, but I would... Dan, Dan's got a, Dan's got a tough... He's got a tough we'll match. One day, it'll be like uh, the end of Rocky Three. Hey, you owe me that favor. What favor? <laughs> he coaches him. He beats Clever Lang in the second fight. And the favor is the payback we got to get in the ring and box. Because Ro Rocky obviously beat him in Rocky Two. Yeah. So... Whenever Dan, you're tired, Dan's you gonna hurt me. 
Dan's got a hurt knee. I will say that. He he comes around with the sleeve every once in a while. Don't fucking say swaggy. something. So who is winning in a fight then? Of, no, in a fight, fist fight, I'm saying I'm all Dan. about that Wrestling knee match, it's different. Rabel's coming out. I don't think knee. Rabel can wrestle. I don't know. He's a Midwest cat. I'm telling Midwest you. Midwest cats can wrestle. Yeah, Rabel yeah, likes wrestling. That. He does? Yeah. He, it's yeah. all about the grip strength, really, right? In wrestling? I mean, a little bit. I don't have, like, the strongest grip. You know what would be bitching? Speaking of wrestling, with Summer <laughs> SummerSlam coming up, is if I got in the ring and suplexed somebody or did whatever and then turned around and Vrabel's there and we have like a three-minute battle in the ring. Pitch and it. he wins. No, he's covering you to pin you and I come out, slide Watch in. Watch out, what? Yeah, slide in under with a chair and just, wow. And he fucking, yeah. dude. And then I... And then I then get out, and then I get a, I get out of the ring because somebody's occupying the ref. Yeah. And the ref turns back around and they see that you're on top of Rabel. One, two, three, and then fucking we win. Yes, you win. We. <laughs> if a stretch hit me up about SummerSlam today, he's like, you want to be a part of it? I go, hell yeah. Oh, we're in there. Yeah. He said he's like, does Will want to go? We're already going. Oh, are we? Yeah, bussing. All right, cool. I got w, two w, tickets. WWE's uh, been working with bussing with the boys. Yeah, I'm trying to get in that ring though. Yeah, you can get in the ring, you know. That would be elite. That'd be awesome, right? So sick. I don't even really watch wrestling like that, but I would have a fucking blast doing that. Yeah. Who's your guy? I wasn't into WWE, but whoever Rain Will Mysterio says. Mysterio was mine. 619. Really? Yeah. Boy, well, I came around the ring and flew, like, around it. Yeah. I was all about Logan Paul beat Ray Mysterio, though. Dude, that was when Ray Mysterio was old, though. He's old now. I'm a rock. I was the rock. Yeah, he was only there for like three years though, wasn't he? Do what? The Rock, how long was The Rock in it? He wasn't in it. The Rock was in it a while. Was Come it? on now. Get some history. Oh, it sounds I, like you getting schooled right now. I wasn't in it. It seems like if I had to pick a dude now, just based off of knowing him, probably Seamus. Mm. That dude seems like he's got it. He's got a, always holds a has a cane, some cool mutton chops. He's a beast. He wants to come on the bus too. Uh, I think he's coming on tomorrow, right? Oh, no, no. He was supposed to come on the day we had to cancel. Damn. Heartbreak Hotel. Mm -hmm. Who else we have to cancel for like the first we, time? We met, uh, we met Seamus at the NASCAR thing. He was all about it. Oh, yeah, he did. He was about it when we were doing the Predators thing. We were doing that thing, getting ready for the outdoor game. Yeah. He was about it. Yeah, he's like, let's, get, let's drink some Guinness one day. One day soon. I was like... NASCAR is cool. an underrated sport. Like, NASCAR? I love NASCAR. NASCAR's rad. My we grandparents gave me the PIR all the time in Phoenix. Yeah. It was cool. We it was went like, to the one out here. It was elite. Bitching. Yeah. I had some FOMO when I saw that happening. Yeah, it is. That and tight end you. Oh, uh, you didn't come to tight end you? I was in bro. Canada with my wife, I'm being so a good husband. Yeah, that was a good time. That was a good time. Yeah. I got Will right in the teeth. Did you? Oh, yeah. water. Oh, man. you did get I me. never saw that clip that either. I know it's out there. Yeah. He just, Will, Will me. runs. He smoked me in the face with a fucking water balloon. Dude was coming at a, at a little kid and he turned around and I, it was already in the air. He turned you pegged around. pegged that kid? That's right kid you pegged? Oh, hang on. I wasn't coming at a little kid. I didn't get involved with the water balloon stuff until you just smoked me, <laughs> and I'm just chilling. He was, like, trying to hit me in the back, and I just happened to turn around, and he just right smoked at me the right, right in the time. face. Oh, how'd that make you feel? I he lost a tooth. I just, Imagine you know, if he did, dude. Got big. I was like, I shouldn't whoop his ass right band. here. <laughs> I shouldn't whoop his ass right here. And, but then I went, I took it out on a little kid. I saw you working on your ball skills, too, out there. <laughs> yeah. Our guys cut up the wrong footage. <laughs> they cut up the misses, huh? Yeah, they cut up the misses. We didn't have much yeah. to work with. It looked yeah, good. Hey, dude. Did you did you put my uh my uh punt returning on there? Yeah, Willie Hester. Ooh -wee. Willie Hester. I had a nice little one hander on the punt return. Got uh, I'll be honest, that was so lucky. Yeah. I'll be I honest. Just went out last minute and caught it just on the side of my head. Like, hey, I know y'all saw that. <laughs> so what do you like fun, the Lions for the forever have been trash. Tough. Yeah. They've been trash. And it, this is no disrespect. Like, I love Michigan, I love Detroit. It's just like the reality, it hasn't been great. What's the deal this year? I, like I said before, I fucking love Dan. If there's a dude that's going to turn that place around and let it rip, Dan, you guys drafted Aiden Hutchinson, who I low-key thought was going to be the first overall pick. Dude, and I'm, he's a stud. I'm excited. Yeah? No, I'm really excited. I actually am. We got Aiden. We got some receivers now. We got, we got some guys. So oh. this is going to be, I mean, we got, you know, we got Josh. We got Amon Ra. You know, we got DJ now. We J Mo came. We drafted J Mo. Mm. He won't be in until half the season, but I mean that dude, what did he get? A ninety eight on Madden? Not that that matters. Who's, who's Josh? Like, Josh Reynolds. Isn't that wild? Wasn't Josh Reynolds on this team? Yeah, he was. He was in he was in Nashville he was on, he and then he got traded. Yeah, he, was, he got traded. Dude, he was solid though. Like he yeah. was yeah, I don't know what happened between us and Josh. There was because he was getting some HS yeah, for a from while. The, from, the, from the outside, like uh like uh our boy, your favorite media guy. Um 
he would talk big shit on on you right we don't say his name you gotta bleep him Baltimore. No, oh, he's like the Voldemort. Don't give him that power. Just bleep his name so he feels disrespected. <laughs> he called me that day. I sent you that which, text. Which day? So remember when I was going off on about how he got fired at ESPN and stuff like that? Oh yeah, yeah. Because you were sending the, you were sending the, yeah, the text. Yeah. He's like, get it right, chief. I left on my own. Blah blah blah. I make more money on my website. All this shit. I was he, like, I, now when you were saying that, I, mm-hmm. I was, I was thinking like, I think he was in a better position when he was leaving. Yeah. He went to the, you know, the stuff he's doing now. We're not going to give him all that attention. Yeah. It seems like he's doing well, though. That's yeah, he's it. doing great. He'll <laughs> be all right. He'll be working for us. And be working for us. I don't know what happened to him, though. Down Yeah, because then he came to Detroit. To Detroit and I remember he was balling. Yeah, he was yeah, balling. Yeah, yeah, it. Well, see, JG and Josh played in LA. So they had that connection mm, a little bit already. Gotcha. So, when he came, it was already like he he just needed to know the offense, and they already knew each other. He had like a foot thing or a hamstring thing or something going on, because I remember dudes, receivers are saying like, "Man, he ain't explosive." He ain't. And I don't know, like I don't pay attention to receivers until like in games I see dudes making catches. Yeah, I had to work on my own shit. Right. But it seemed like dudes were kind of it seemed like dudes like players were down on him. I like Josh. Yeah. I, I, during the LA game, like he was an HS for that game, and I was like, "What's going on?" Because I think we were down dudes too. No, AJ and Julio did play those games. But he just seemed like a dude that was like a good dude, like cool great Cali guy, vibes, yeah. great dude. Yeah, I just didn't know what Super was going true. on. And no, then all he, of a sudden, I mean, we cut him or traded him? We traded him to y'all? Traded, yeah. I don't know what we got for. I mean, I don't he know went off. Saying, yeah. But yeah, he I mean, went he, off. We had, like we had the a next couple week. Tuds. Yeah, he, yeah. He, he, he balled kinda, for us. I mean, it was cool too, because like Saint ended up killing it after. Like, I went down and then Saint went off like 100 a game, like for four games straight or something. It was stupid. Awesome. Uh, rookie of the month one month solid mm. and so we got we got some guys now i mean like aiden's gonna be a big big guy on the d-line we got amani in the in the back court i mean there's some there's some dudes now we got most of our guys were out too like we we're missing frank right now we were missing Ooh, yeah you know, we were friend of the pod, friend we were of the missing pod. romeo defensive guy you know we were missing jeff like we were we were missing a lot of guys what do you think of uh pinel swelly swelly pinay swelly Who's that? He's a left tackle. He got drafted. Like he was a second tackle taken. That kid was Sean. Great dude. Great dude. Yeah, he like seems like a solid chill. ooze. Like doesn't doesn't like works hard, but like doesn't say a ton. But like no. super good dude. You know, like and for a rookie to come in, like you know how it is. Like a rookie lineman, it's tough. You don't got to be the hardest you, shit to do as especially a, a, a left tackle. Yeah, like, you know. And, and Taylor was out for a while, so then he had to go to left tackle, and then he went back to right tackle, and then it was like. So he was changing the whole and year. Taylor's still there, right? Taylor's still here, yeah. So who plays left this year? Taylor will, I think. Yeah. I, think Taylor, I mean, they paid Taylor a lot, so. Yeah, that gave him some money. That's why I was, I was yeah. like, wow, they, they drafted that dude. Yeah. No, Panay's, I mean, he'll put a guy into the dirt now. Like, yeah. But uh, his as little a rookie, clip, it's His tough. little clip of him and Aaron Donald going at it, there's a clip of, like, Panay, rookie, getting in Aaron Donald's face, and it's like, that's how you make a good name for yourself. Right. Hey, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, come out the back. Aaron Donald, he's, he's the king of the face. face mask grab. Aaron Donald loves grabbing yeah, that yeah. face mask. Because you know he's strong as fuck. Strong as fuck. You get a little he likes doing it yeah. after the whistle. T- I mean, not after, but like he'll hold it until like you make him stop. Yeah, yeah. he you know? holds like, until everyone knows. Like it's like an alpha move. Yeah, he holds until everyone knows. Okay, we all know I won this. Right, right. right. So that was, you gotta love that. Though. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt this outstanding podcast to bring you an ad by Sport Clips. Before we get into the ad, I'd just like to please remind you and personally beg you to keep subscribing on subscribing or resubscribing to this outstanding podcast. We are, uh, we're growing, but it's only because of word of mouth and you guys saying what, who's who in the zoo and, and making us who we truly are. So thank you so much in advance for doing that. Sport Clips, we know you all love the MP- MVP haircut experience and now it's better than ever. Sport Clips has added a new signature scent to their MVP, to their MVP that really takes relaxation up a notch, Jack. Sure, you would. You could go anywhere to get your haircut, but why would you? If you're a dude with discerning tastes, need to Google what discerning means. Head over to Sport Clips and end your haircut on a high note with their MVP that includes a seven-point massage, shampoo, and their custom blend of signature scent on a perfectly steamed hot towel. That man's out there sitting in that steam room learning that little seven-point massage technique, Jackie, so you better watch out, my boy. Leave feeling like a champion and looking like a gentleman or, you know, whatever you naturally look like. Sport Clips, the pros in men's hair. Back to the episode. 
Uh, what did you see from Aiden and OTAs? Sure. Uh, Hutch, um, dude's like explosive. I mean, you know, in OTAs, you don't have much. Like, yeah. you don't have pads on or anything, but like, dude, like coming off the line, like a defensive end in the first three steps is like, that's how where you make your money. Mm -hmm. Dude's got it. You know, that's like, good. we need you to be hard as fuck on him because that's, I feel like he's one of our own. I love Aiden. He's yeah, never been on this. He's yeah, never been he on this hasn't, pod. He hasn't been on I talked to his parents. He's like, he's, he's always, he's about the pod. He's about the pod. He seems like a homie. And like, I'm just like, Glad to see a Michigan dude really doing it. Right. Like, kind of living out a legacy. Like, he'll be a Michigan legend forever. And you Regardless know, what happens in the NFL. He's a very hard worker. Yes. You love that. Yeah. And if, when we start winning, I mean, when we start winning Oops. in Detroit, that's where, like, the, everybody's going to make a name for himself. You know, like, that doesn't happen in Detroit. And these guys are, like, eating. They're hungry. Yeah. How They're do you so hungry. How do you feel like the culture has shifted since Coach Campbell came on board? By kneecaps, homie. Exactly. I mean, because he came in, and obviously you've had. Right. He wasn't your. He's not your only head coach. Like I'm, being in Detroit, being part of like that losing culture. Not that you were a part of it, but your first I was year there for the first yeah two the years. first two years yeah. you're tasting it, hearing it from everybody else, and then Coach Campbell comes in. Like, how do you feel like that culture has started to shift? Well, the thing is, well, like with Matty P, right? He was there for my first two years, and it was like he was already on the hot seat. Like everybody, like our our fans get after it. I heard know? he was. I heard. I heard some not so good things about him. Yeah. yeah. And those, like, I forgot. I was actually, Coach I was his no, like, I was his pick, right? So, dude liked me. Like, mm. he didn't talk to me a ton outside of, like, the, the meeting or anything like that. But, dude, outside of that was cool. But then when he got into the meeting, it was like he tried to be Belichick a little bit. Yeah. You know? And it was Is like, just trying to, like, alpha dudes or. No, it's just like, you know, like, all right, man, you know, this is what we got to do today. The hard way is the right way. And that that's true. I mean, it really is. But on the same hand, there's like a, a player vibe with Campbell that like dude's played like, and dude has like, he understands what it is and it's still hard way. The right is the right way. You know, like mm -hmm. we're going to, we're going to practice hard. We're going to do a lot of hard things, but on the same hand, he's going to take care of us in certain situations mm -hmm. because he knows what it is. And he knows like camps are grind. So we're going to take a day where it's like, Hey, all right, we're not going to do the, you know, nine on seven or whatever it is. And it's like, yeah, that that goes a long way with your with your players. And then last year, dude, we were I mean, we were in it for we were losing. Right. I mean, like we were one in 11 or something at one point, And it was still like grinding. The boys grinding. are still playing. Yeah. And, and, and we're working hard. Like, it's yeah. not like we stopped practice. It's not like we cut practice short. Like we were working really, really freaking hard for week 12, week 13 in the season. And we understood the the assignment, though, like. Campbell, like, came to us and was like, dude, like, this is what we have to do. And to have a guy that's played in it, like, that's, like, you just know that's true. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so I think that's more of the difference. Like, Campbell's been in it. He understands it. And he's good to us. Like, outside of the, outside of the meeting room, he, like, talks to us. He tries to build, a, uh, like, a connection. And he wants you to come talk to him. If you have a problem, dude, like, go talk to him. Mm -hmm. And that's why I love. Like, because... Some dudes close their door upstairs, you know, and don't let you come in. But Campbell's always got it open. Like, you go talk to him, go hit, go chat it up with him for an hour, and he'll, like, he'll cancel his meetings for you, you know? And that's dope as a player to have a coach like that, yeah. you know? Got a lot of rape similarities. Yeah. How's he in team meetings? Is he hard on dudes? Is, um, it, like, is it a lot of questions? Dude, it was like he puts you on, like he puts you up, you know. And if you if you did something wrong, he'll put you up and yeah. like make sure you know and it doesn't happen again. But like, who doesn't do that? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I mean, the, I feel like Vrabel's a, a, about that. Like, that's his fucking deal. Yeah, he'll be like, he has teams keys and he has offense keys and defense keys for each week. But like, I'm expected to know certain things even about the defense keys. Mm. Right. Like he'll be like Taylor, what's a, what's one defensive key this week? What's one special team key this week? I'm like, fuck. Yeah. Like he's just and he, he, and he puts the pressure on. It's not like he puts the pressure on. And it's like dudes might laugh at you if you don't know it or whatever to try mm -hmm. and like be light about it, but Vrabel. Yeah, he wants you to know. Yeah, he, he wants, wants you to know. know. The expectation is there, the standards there. No, nah, it's the same. I mean, he'll he'll go through the keys in, in the in, in the team meeting and be like, Hey, this is what we gotta do. And then he'll be like, Hey Hawk, who who you gotta worry about this week? You know, or like, what are you what are you thinking this week? You know, mm -hmm. it's like 57 is going to be over top of me. I'm going to have a safety over top too. You know, like stuff like that. Like, so he, he tries to make it very game-like. There's a lot of competition. Yeah. Like in, in practice, dude, we're one-on-ones. We're trying to like, I mean, we're running at each other, trying to put juke move against the defense. Like just things like that he wants to see. And like he gathers the whole team. Like you were saying, you don't see 
many wide receivers uh, run routes during practice, right? Like Campbell will have the whole team come around and it'll be one on ones, and he'll be like, like show what you got, you know? Yeah. Which is cool too, because like Taylor's never seen me run a route, or like Frank's never seen me run a route in practice. But then I route a dude up, and he's like, dude, you got that. Like, yeah, that's sweet, you know. And it's cool to have that from guys that don't see it, mm-hmm. you know. Like, mm-hmm. and then they, and then you go to Sunday, and then you know maybe they don't, maybe you don't catch a ball or you don't, you know, and they're like, dude, what's happening? You know, yeah, like, yeah, they kind of about you, like, hey yeah, man, what's like, the deal? Bro, what's going on? Like, they're just not throwing, you know. And I'm like, no yeah. comment, you know. But yeah. like, it's cool because they know how how good you are in that situation, and like how it, that they can count on you in a in a tough situation. That's when you, I mean. when you're in the situation of like in situations where you go through a whole game and you don't get a ball thrown to you, or maybe you get one throw, or something like that, and it goes on for like one or two, like. Listen, we all know you're a team guy. There's there, no one here is indicting you for a character, but like that's just got to be frustrating when you're like, damn, like, is, like if I'm playing receiver, I want that fucker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know the ball can only go. Yeah. I mean, you, know, you want to be that everybody. guy in any situation, right? Like you want to be a guy that your quarterback's going to look at, and that's the that's the bond that you have to make outside of the outside of the you know football field outside yes. of like you have to have a bond with the quarterback. Like JG, I mean, dude's texting me right before I got here, like. You have to have a bond with him. Mm-hmm. So when he is in a tough situation, like he's going to throw it down to you or, or whatever it is. But, you know, like on the same hand, when you're going in a game, it depends on the game too. You know, like we played two games last year where it was like pouring down rain, right? Mm-hmm. And so it's like your mindset has to change a little bit where, okay, now I'm not the guy. Because a tight end is a unique position. You have to do everything, right? Mm-hmm. So you, it depends. Like one game I could be split out half the time and then the other game I can be 80%, 90% in line. And so those games where, I, I mean, we played the, we played Cleveland and it was pouring down rain the whole time. And it was like, dude, we might not get a throw off because the ball's wet, conditions are slippery, like they have real, real grass, like it's tough. And so your mindset has to change in that situation. Like, all right, now I got to be a blocker. Now I got to do this. Now, you know, so it is tough. But then when you go into the the film room, it's tough because it's like, shit, like I was open here, but like, there's a lot of different factors out of of this, you know, because of the conditions or whatever it is. It's just, so it it is tough in that situation, but like, you know, out of this, like it's your job. So I'm getting, you know, like I'm, uh, I'm still fascinated on all the, on all the Campbell stuff. And I don't know how to ask this without sounding like disrespectful or be, or without sounding like an asshole, but how does your truth, bud? Well, what I want to ask is how did like, again, off the whole culture thing, how does like, going throughout the year last year, losing the majority of the year differ from like losing the majority of the year, the years prior to that. You know what I mean? No, I what, I, what I, what I want to get to is then after you explain that, it's obviously a testament to how you guys were responding. You guys win like the last game of the year when it doesn't even fucking matter. And you're all like, we play the Cardinal. Crying, they beat the Cardinals too. Yelling like so right. hype. So talk about like the, how the process was throughout the year when you're grinding, you're in it and you're still fucking losing even the changes that had been made versus like years prior. Campbell had, I think, I honestly think this, that Campbell had a solution, not a solution, but like a schedule and it didn't vary throughout the season. Like he knew what week 13 would look like before the season started, right? And so he was the same guy on week 13 as he was on week one. Like we had that schedule. We had week 14, week 15. It was the same schedule. It was, hey, we're going to relax on you guys. Like, I'm not going to vary based on the wins and losses. Us losing, like, we're going to fight. Right. That's Whereas huge. That's huge. sometimes, you know, when you guys, I mean, when you get into a situation where you're losing a lot, the coach can have a fire on his ass. Like, hey, we have to start winning. We got to do this. We got to do this. So you do more. You do this. And then that doesn't help. I mean, you're week 14 in the season. If you don't know how to run a basic route or you don't know how to run a, run a route that and have the same time with the quarterback, you're fucked anyway, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's week 14 in the season. And so that's where Campbell's not making us go out there and run 50 routes with JG because, hey, we didn't lock up on these routes. Like, he'll pick two or three and we'll do them. And then it's like, all right, cool. You guys got it, you know? Okay. That's the difference. Like, and he came into the meeting rooms and he's like, you guys, like, this is what we got to do. This is what we got to do. We're on the edge. Like, this is where we're going. Like, this is where we're going. And like, you... I think there's a fine line with that, right? Because right. 
you can say that and you can do it, but like he feels it and we feel that from him. You know what I mean? And feels what when you say like, like he, feeling that he, we're close to he, a breakthrough? He really feels his words. Like it's okay. not like he's just going in there and saying it. He's like not just he saying really shit. like what you see is what you get. Like you guys, like they see stuff and right. you know, a coach can front that and do things, but that's not him. Like he really feels and has the heart for the game. And as players, like you feel that, you know? So like, instead of me being sitting back in my meeting chair and being like, yeah, you know, we have to win. We, you know, like I get it hard ways the right way, but like, that's not, you know, like, are you just right. saying that? Or are you feeling it? You know? And, but he's like in your face and you get on the edge of your chair and you're like, all right, like this is where we go, you know? And so we won a couple games last year at the end of the year. And it's like, it builds it, you know, it builds mm. the culture, it builds the guys. And that's where, you know, you want to be, you know, and that's what you, you want to do. You guys end up probably feeling like, oh, we're, we're, we're hitting that tipping point. We're breaking through a little bit. Like, yeah, it's not going to show on our record this year, but right. we're figuring out that this is the way, like, if we stay the course, like, we're headed in the right this direction. Is what you got to do. And, like, when he says things and you do it and then you win and, like, you're just like, I mean, dude, how many games last year did we lose by? Oh, my gosh, score? I know. You know, I know. like, it, sucked. It, it was awful. Like, it was, it was so shitty to walk in on Monday and watch the film because it's like that close, yeah. you know? And it's like, it could be any given play. Like you guys know how it is. And there's 70, 60 snaps a game and it can be one play. That's the difference. Right. And so that's what his message was to us is like, Hey, it's one play. So you have to play every play. Like that's the one. It seemed like you guys said smart playing too. Like right. I think it was the Rams y'all played and you guys played the Rams yeah. pretty damn well. I mean, we had I mean, how many fake, Fake Bro, so teams. many, so like, many screens. Onside, like, fake, two fake yes. punts, I think. Go after like, it. Yeah. yeah. Well, you had nothing to lose at yeah, that you point. Nothing to lose. Nothing to lose. And JG's first. I'm saying JG now because you do. JG's now coming. He's playing his old team. He wants to show out. 100%. And so. And it's Stafford. Like, dude, yeah. And it's Stafford. It's like a crazy situation. You just right. flip two and they're playing each other that year. The crazy thing to me about like the culture where I think Dan Campbell's that dude is you guys winning those games and like playing teams so close the whole entire time. Because when, when I was at the time, when I was with the Titans in 2014, 2015, like we lose two games. We, we win two games the first year. We win three games the next year. And all those games came in the first eight weeks of the season. Because you get to the end of the year and no one gives a shit. Everyone was like, when's, when's vacation? What are we doing? And it seems like you win a game at the end of the year. I mean, that says a lot about the coaching and like yeah. keeping dudes in it and stuff like that. that. And that's the hard part, right? When you're one in 13, one in 14 is like, staying in it yeah it's like hey we have only a couple film, weeks left like yeah and still do, and then but like that's that's where you do have a guy that like changes the culture yeah and you do have guys on the team or guys in the in the locker room that leaders you know this boy this dude now give me a water <laughs> appreciate you my guy i'm over here cotton mouth his head and i feel like you need to wipe your forehead <laughs> You got a towel? Well, you can use this pillow. Oh, this pillow needs a move, though. I feel like it's I mean, easier just to say that because you might be thinking it as you're doing it, like, man, I just fucking I, I know, wish I, I want just wipe to, my face like, really quick. Yeah. Holy shit. You got a nice little glisten to you for sure. But we all do. Yeah. Here we are. Yeah. You guys at least have hats on, right? I know. Stop Stop it. It. Speaking of, dude, have we has this been seen to the public yet? Sweet. Yeah, it's, I think it's been seen a few times. Well, if yeah. not over the next like Probably a few pods. Yeah, these because these things are, uh, they're not even out yet, are they? No, people are going to be itching for them, man. Mm. People are going to be itching for them. We got some fucking some Detroit work. Colors ones? You want some Detroit Color ones? Yeah, give me it. Hey, uh, we have those, the boy shirts. I got them. Yeah? You brought them to tight in you? Hell yeah. What well, if we do a uh, oh, Lions one? talking about the uh, USA ones. The for the, the for Oh, the yeah, I'm talking about, we, we make football fire. ones, too. They're sweet, dude. I wore them on the fourth. They're killer. They're Absolutely sweet. killer. But uh, you're talking, about, jacked, you're talking about the electric ones? No, I'm talking about the football ones we made. Like, like, Nebraska. Oh, you got, like, like Nebraska, Nebraska like the Michigan one, like the Titans one. Oh, last year, the helmet one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The version this year is the, uh, we're, br we're doing the lightning ones. We're bringing them back. Bringing the lightning ones back with the, yes. instead of the football doing the but logo? We're going to do like, we're going to do like logos. Yeah, instead of the football. Or like, a, yeah, like a, you know, obviously a version that would get us in trouble. But well, the whole boy. reason why I bring this up is because the Lions, baby. Do you yeah, get a Lions one? What we would need you to I do. I want a Lions one. Uh, you got to sport tell, it for the tell, boys. Yeah, tell them what you would have to do for us to make the Lions one. You basically be signing an NIL deal with us. Yeah. Without, without signing a deal. It's basically, we need you to go out there and support it. It's 
wear for interviews. Oh, wear one. It's Let like, the boys know. It's like we could post and say, hey, we're going to do... I do have hard knocks this year. We're yeah. going to do... Oh, oh fuck. Ooh, am I going to get one on you? Got to get them on there. Uh, but it's Plus, like, hard knocks going to suck. Taylor and I could post yeah. about it, but, you know, who knows how many Detroit people follow, follow lost, us. Lost Michigan. We need, yeah, we need... That's true. That is true. Yeah. So you could do it. Foxy from... But we need, we need... Foxy. Damn. We need people to pioneer that these, that these shirts are out there, and you could be our guy yeah. since you're one of the boys now. Hit me up. Yeah. I want one. Because George wears one, and it's just a Tennessee one. Like, yeah. That one's from, like, a couple years ago. It's the Tennessee one with the lightning on it. Yeah. He's like, bro, I just love the shirt. So I think we're bringing back the lightning shirt. Oh, okay, cool. As long as that football's gone, because that was, like, the lamest yeah, part the, of that yeah, shirt. The, yeah, the football. Because I liked how, what did it say, the boys in, up here? Yeah. And then Tennessee's the fucking the lightning. That shit did go hard. Ooh, that shit go. did go hard. You guys got some good merch now. Bro, when we first started this pod, it? what's that? You guys do the merch? It's like a mix. Yeah, like Will and I did the merch at first, and now Garrett, who's not here right now, he's like our pseudo merch guy now. Yeah. Really? Like we had uh, Ryan from Hang 10. He would do a lot of designs for us. Ryan was outstanding. And then we would vote and pick stuff that we'd like, or we'd mm. bring up, hey, we'd like to see this. Mm. Now, like uh, Garrett and myself, we're in the group chat with the bar stool. Like they'll drop stuff and cl- yeah. everybody collabs and we the bar stool is Everybody big votes time, on man. it. We drop it in the group chat. Mm. It kind of just gets picked like that. I got well, a little... my take, by the way. What? The pod. Well, Hey, 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 come on hey, now. Hey, Spotify says it. I know, I know, you know. Where yeah. are we right now, JP? Uh, we're a three or I've been, we're top I've been five right now. Huh? Yeah, it's like the. We're probably still top five. Well, the tough part is we're not doing the two a week. Right. Yeah, but we're if we're staying top five in the two a week, or we're doing one a week. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. That's pretty huge. I agree with that. Because I think, I think we're going to go to two a week starting next year. Nice. Sure you yeah, know, but then that might be a little premature. I, but I think it'd be a little premature. It was cool when we hit, when we hit one. When we hit one, four. Dude, you four. Let's go. PMT's at two right now. Ooh. Shout out to the boys. You got to pay homage at all times. Yeah. At all, who's one? Um, so it seemed like a new one. JP's somebody boy, Jamon Green. Somebody new in the algorithm. Oh wait, no, never mind. Bill Simmons podcast. Oh, he's stud. Yeah, but you he's got stud. Tom Rinaldi presents Wesley, but that's like a new one. So it's, I'm sure it's just getting love because it's new. How's yeah. that algorithm? Like, we what is know. it? We, we have, have no, no idea. Clue. We have no curious. clue. I yeah, don't know. We, like, because when we first started, we jumped up to, like, we were, like, number two 50. or one with Jalen Ramsey. No, we weren't. We, oh, we've never been one. This is the first time we've ever been one, so it had to be no, two. No, then. no, We were one or two in the very beginning, but it was, like, obviously we knew we were brand new. Yeah, brand new. So we Jaylen, had no clue about the we had no clue. podcast yeah. holds up to this day. That's how you know it was a good pod. His shit Braves still. Too. Yeah. Yeah, he needs to come back on. No. Jalen's a dog. He's a dog. He's a dog. dog. Played that's, him a couple that's, times. That's Will's favorite player. Well, he guarded me yeah. last year. The whole, Did he? Basically the whole game. How many balls did he catch? I don't, nah, I don't want to talk about it. No. Oh, he damn. locked you up? No, he, no. I mean. He locked you up. The, he locked you up. It's all good. I had, he was, I had a few on he him. He was playing corner. Was like, damn, dude. Good, good, good route. We told you good route? Oh, yeah. That's how you know. That's how you know. That's a good feeling. It is a good mm, feeling. When a boy like that does that. Yeah. Yeah, he's but pretty he's last, pretty last play we had a in route our other tight end was supposed to take the safety went through Jalen instead. Mm-hmm. Two guys right there Jalen Jalen picks it. It's tough. He's a stud though. And he's he talks shit too. Yeah. Oh, plenty of shit. He's a, he's he does that. So you were you're on the squad then cuz Golden was on the team, right? When they didn't they fight? Oh. Or that tackle over the middle? Yeah, that was tough. When they're like, when they're like drama during the in game? between them, not nah, they didn't fight during the game, but they had beef because I think Jalen, like, as a kid with a uh, golden sister, I believe, Golden Tate. I think was so, that in yeah. Detroit? Golden. I wasn't was there with with Golden. Who it happened like two years ago. He might have been the Giants. Golden. Golden was there. Maybe he was on the Giants. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he was on the Giants. Cause that's right. Cause I would, uh, I would talk with. Uh, that's right, the Giants. He's got a he's got a baby with Golden <laughs> oh, Tate's I'm like, memory. I'm like, oh, well, I didn't want to say the name. Like, I'm talking with so and so, blah blah. Like, mm. I didn't want to say the name. Yeah, that'd be tough. But yeah, that was gold. That was the Giants because mm. it was over the middle. Golden's Jaylen, a dog like, now. That's like, another guy. Yes, that's bro. another guy. Dude, I hit gold. This was like this was back. In my, these were back in my good years. I think he was on the Titans for like. He's done that, right? I've seen him working out. Look, look, he was at uh, he was at the uh, Thanksgiving party. Yeah, that's right. That's uh, right. Please. Only for a little bit. But I remember I, I hit Fuck, him on one play, and he, like, popped right over. He's like, hey, that's a good hit. And I remember, like, feeling good about myself because I, like, I'm like, oh, Golden Tate, you're yeah. a fucking stud. Dude's elite. Story, story time about myself. Hey, war stories, <laughs> war stories. Hey, yeah, war stories. Let's go, babe. <laughs> Tell them. That's amazing. Dude, yeah, he's a fucking stud, man. That guy yeah, is, like. Yeah, let's come every once in a while when we were training or whatever. We're running yeah. routes and. 
dude looks good. And he's how old now? Who? Golden. He's got to be like 33, 34. He's up there. Uh, he was there last we'll year. I haven't seen him yet this year. Oh, he'd have come on for him, sure. Have you seen him at Lipscomb this summer? I haven't seen him this summer. Okay. You know who else was coming on the pod is Adrian Peterson. Ooh, oh, AP. I'd get AP I on, played bro. with AP. I played with AP, too, for a few weeks last year. Dude's elite. He is. Bro, we did a, we did a jog through the first day he was there, running full speed. Oh, yeah. He hit, like, three guys. You know what's funny is, dude came in first, like, didn't, like, literally got him an hour before or something. We find out he's at practice. Dude pulls a can of chew out, out of his socket or out of sock, just diffs it right in mm-hmm. right in the middle of the huddle. I'm like, oh, he's a legend. That's a oh, legend. It's a, bro, I didn't even know you could do that. Here, I'm too. like, I didn't even know you could do that. That's oh. so sick. He is a stud like that, bro. He really like he'll shake you shake his hand. Oh. He has the strongest fucking grip, bro. Look at that break motherfucker. You. He tries to break you and put you on your knees and just from a handshake. That dude is yoked. Why bro. is he boxing? I remember seeing him <laughs> my what rookie year. I saw that. Bro. I saw that. My rookie year. I love it. He was in the he was in the Viking still when he was like a, AP, and I remember just like seeing him and looking at his arm, being like, "That's robotic," the way his fucking arm looks. Yeah, it was just so fucking ting 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 ting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, chiseled everywhere. Bro, crazy. It's not. Dude ran a hundred yards every time. We would be in nine on seven. Yeah, and he would. Take the ball and run at 100 yards. He's, he's a, like, like that. yeah. They take me out after that. Oh, he's all gas, bro. <laughs> like, that's all gas, smart. no brakes. Yeah. He was over at uh, the house for the Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's a dude. He's yeah, he said he'd come on. He's like, yeah, I'll come he's on the pod. You run into your screen, huh? You have that screen that comes down outside, like uh, outside of your that sitting area. You know what I'm talking about? How you have that screen? Oh, with the tent put up for yeah, everybody. Yeah, but up. it was raining. So I came over when we when we arrived at the like toward the back end of the thanks the Thanksgiving dinner. And I see all the boys. We'll like, just oh. want the food. I go, oh, I go, all oh, the boys. And I fucking just walk straight into the fucking, the fucking screen, bro. Like, like fall back or something. Everybody's like losing it. Like, oh, shit, this ain't a good look. This ain't a good look yeah. at all, huh? I was like, oh, that's AP. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, he's he's boxing Le'Veon one. Bell. When is that? Uh, let me look. Who went in that fight? got it, yeah. You got to think, I have AP. no clue. I gotta thank AP. Oh, I don't know. Le'Veon, I know Le'Veon's Le'Veon's got got that youth neck, got, bro. And he's got oh, youth no. on his side. Dude. And Le'Veon's saying this is like he wants to do a, a career in boxing. Yeah, he's done football like he wants to. Now he wants to take it. He wants to just strictly do boxing. July 30th. Yeah. Le'Veon? July 30th. Oh, same day as SummerSlam. Oh, oh, damn. Maybe it's at SummerSlam. <laughs> Dude, who do you think's taking that? I would AP. think, yeah, think Le'Veon based on youth. I would think Le'Veon. Like, to me, AP's like... AP lands one, it's over. But you could say that with that. I don't know, bro. He's one, older. Know. But he's not old like that. He's older football. You're right. He's not like old like that in boxing years. Yeah. I mean, the dude played tall. How old is he now? How old is AP? He's like 37. And still looks good on the field. I don't know, man. 37. I was always good when we hunt, like, me, handled AP's the ball. So. etched in stone in the NFL. And in physical life. Yeah. yeah. And he's so him, fucking and, strong. And to see him continue to like sign deals and like obviously he's not Adrian Peterson of old. Yeah. And now he's boxing. Like I, part of it's like, what are we doing, Unc? Dude, well, you know, <laughs> he got screwed over by his accountant or like his financial advisor lost a lot of money. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That, that's just so a story could, that came be, out. He could be, he could yeah. come on and talk about that situation, but like, yeah, it's, he's got a lot of kids too. Yeah. He did, the, he did the tank. Have you ever seen that? With the, uh, the, the tank? with the fish with the fish tank. He did that into his house in Florida. Watched the whole episode. <laughs> <laughs> so we leave. I love it. Hawk's out there. He knows all the stuff. Mm-hmm. Man. That was my guy. I love that guy. He was. He got us a bike. So he got us an electric good. bike for the whole offense. Just having electric. him around, dude. Just be him being in the man, building was just cool. So sick. Right. Like, I if you bet. Look at, like who we had in the locker room was like Adrian Peterson, Julio Jones. Like in our locker room, I'm like, yeah. yo, this is, y'all are studs. Crazy. Who's yeah. next? Tom Brady? <laughs> Imagine playing with Tom Brady, bro. And just like seeing him, being around Sick him. Sick would that be? Like trying so hard to be friends with him. He just won't give in. Yeah. Like you just keep, keep trying, keep trying, looking up things he's into. That would be. And then the... if he gives you a little something and you kind of fuck it up, you're like, <laughs> damn, it's over, bro. That would, to me, would be the best part about trying to be friends with Tom Brady. Like what? everybody kind of witnessing that's what you're doing. Yeah. And then every day, uh, you, yeah, come, yeah. every day you come in and say something, then yeah. you finally get a chance. Yeah. You fuck it up back. Like, fuck, that was my chance. Like every day you come in, you say something to him. And then yeah. you know what he's into. So you're like, hey, man, I don't like tomatoes <laughs> yeah, yeah, either or yeah, whatever yeah. he's not yeah. into. And then one day hits you with the, what's up, Lamont? Be like, what's up, Tom? Casual. Walk back to your locker. Holy fuck, he talked to me. 
put your stuff on, then you go to say something to him, you fumble your words, yeah. you fucking walk away. You walk back, idiot, you walk you back to the locker like, <laughs> hey, uh, I realize you said my name back there. Did you need something? <laughs> <laughs> Did you need something? <laughs> Dude, then well, you start doing different rounds. Like, you try to bait town him a little bit. Yeah. What's up, team? <laughs> you walking. Bro. Or just, like, you get done with practice and you come in, you're about to go in the shower. Hey, Tom, when are you going in the shower? <laughs> like, all right, I'll wait. Five minutes? All right, I'll wait. You got, like, three guys, like, just kind of looking at you. What the fuck's this dude up yeah, to? Yeah, and you look like, what? Fuck, Tom Brady. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're a linebacker, and I'm off at the line, and like, he ain't going to talk to us. He ain't going to talk to me before you because you're defense. But if you're a receiver. He's going to talk to you. Yeah. Yeah, if you're, but he would be like, he's going to yell at me. You know? His old lineman used to be in commercials, bro. Like, I'm I sure feel like, I feel like Tom, lineman. I'm like, yo, Taylor, what the fuck are you doing, man? You're right, sir. I'm sorry. Like, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. And then, like, Vrabel says, somebody shut the fuck up, Vrabel. Hey, that's, <laughs> that's the persona you would have to have. Just have everything to. structured. You got yes, it. Sir. Where do you want me to oh, go, Tom? Brian, be still buttoned up. My personality would die. Mr. Brady, what do you want me I'd to do on this myself? Play? You'd have to though. Right, you got to so smart. I'd be like, anyway. podcast? No, I don't, Tom. I'm not doing this. You know me. Yeah, yeah. I might be actually be off social media. Tom, what do you um, want me to do? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I filmed that three yeah, months yeah. ago. Yeah, yeah. He'd do whatever he Speaking fucking asks. Julian Edelman does want to come on the pod. Ooh. He does want to come on the pod. That'd be sweet. Edelman would be solid. I think that's you Brady. Amendola, too. I played with Amendola Bro, for a Amendola first year. You got his number? Absolutely butt humped yeah. us when he played you for Houston. on the bus. Text me right now. Yeah. Say, would you want to come on bus with the boys with my guys? I got you. And then just see what he says. Like, if he's like... My phone's off. Oh, I, I appreciate yeah, the respect. I didn't want to ring. I don't believe you, but I appreciate the respect. Seems broken. Yeah, you're right. It is Damn. off. Hey, that turns on easy, though, right? I'm yeah. just kidding. Hey, so you're going into... Um, year four. You're going into year four. Yeah. Potential contract year coming up. Knew it was coming up. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Handle it. Um, How are you feeling going into that? Like, is it like, are you getting excited thinking like, are you getting excited thinking about the potential? I mean, I, you know, you can, you'll say all the right stuff, but. How do you know? Because that's how, <laughs> well, that's how polished we have to be. And I know your agent. Even time. You do know my agent. Yeah, yeah. Neil probably he, called. He emailed you. That's what I was going to say. Neil did? Yeah. Did you see it? Yes, up? I did. I saw Neil Corder. I tried to say something. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, he always getting that call? Call him back. No, he just emails like Dude, he's got everybody. He'll email, on email. email financial advice, um, everything. It's really not bad. It's no, not bad I actually I just grin every time he's emailing. Yeah. Yeah. You should fire Neil and go to CA though. No, right? no. Neil's the Neil's one of the best. There's they no took question. me out to dinner though. CA did. And you didn't go with them. I liked the dinner. <laughs> it was a solid CAA steak. Food was delicious. <laughs> he tried to acquire Neil because CA is like a big conglomerate. Like they take yeah. on agents and stuff. And Neil refers to him as the alphabet agency. <laughs> alphabet agency? Yeah. Why? I don't know. He's like, you know that alphabet soup? That's that agency. Oh, my You God. know how everybody's like. Yeah, you know, mass produced. That's dog. what they're saying? He's saying that because they're mass produced? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Man, CA ain't like that, dude. I feel like I'm the, their only client. That's how great CA is. Yeah, because you were like the highest paid. You are like, at the time, the highest paid old lineman in history. Like, trust me. I'm gonna, now I'm not. I still I'm gonna, feel like. I'm going to stroke you off every time, too. Like, hey, what does Taylor <laughs> need? Will? <laughs> Yeah, somebody, somebody handle that. <laughs> somebody, <laughs> handle that. <laughs> somebody talk about whatever Will's saying. That's so funny. Like, hey, should dude. I take this two fifty to post on Instagram? Oh, hey, uh, so contract year. Contract year. What do you want? Yeah. Perfect world. Everything goes your way. How? What do you want? How many years for how much? How many years for how much? Yeah. They're, I mean, the way I'm looking at it. See, he's already smiling. Who, who's the? I'm the, too hard. the I, I know. Say, hey. I know. The way I'm looking at it, honestly, is I want to play for 10 years, right? The money ain't hitting hit my bank account yet. So it's going to at some point. I'm going to have to play either way. It's not about, like, when I'm done, I'm going to look at the money, right? Mm -hmm. But, like, right now, I don't really care. Like, I mean, like, Kind you, don't, of. you don't care, but you probably yeah, you lose. You, 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 you want, lose. Like, you want the legacy, right? Like that's what you want in the league, yeah. right? Like you want to put your best foot forward. You want the best film that you want to play for however many years. Like I'm, I want to play for ten plus years. Like that's my goal, and the money will come if I do that, right? Mm -hmm. So I, when I look at it, that's what it's gonna come, either way. As long as you focus on putting your best foot forward, and right? As long as I'm playing good and I'm. Doing what I need I'm to. Trying to, you know, trying to. He knows. He knows Neil. He knows Neil. Yeah, I'll let. Yeah, I'll leave yeah. the contract he'll stuff up to Neil. He'll get me the, the most. No he'll, he'll get the most. I was able to get. I promise that. Like I know. He was upset that I, we uh, got Vrabe to talk about cutting his dick off for the Super Bowl. Really? Yeah. I was like, I mean, Neil, it is what it is, man. Hey, Neil. <laughs> I'm not asking that again. 
Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. You uh, would you ask Harbaugh? You said uh, something about meat peeking in the shower, <laughs> and it was just not that pod. It did not go. I was in my head. I'm like, eh, this is definitely one of those straight and narrow podcasts. It's totally fine. And yeah, Will, Will from the top rope. So do you fucking look at dicks in the shower? <laughs> Like, oh my and then god. I was just kind of sitting me out there trying to swim on my own. And yeah, I was looking at him like still trying to figure out. Hey, uh, come on now. You you looked, right? And I'm like, please stop. Please <laughs> stop. I want to get invited god. back. He already signed I'm that shit. I'm an sheet. alumni, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I saw man. that shit. Y'all are going everywhere, huh? Bustin', Bustin' Bull, dude, November 12th, the first game, most pre- most prestigious trophy game of all time. Nebraska, Michigan? Nebraska, Michigan. That is correct. That's big time. It's gonna be big. I, I just hope it doesn't divide us. Did you make no, a trophy yet? The trophy's no, getting made. Yet, it's gonna be. Made. It's is gonna it be actually? heavy. Actually, yeah. Oh yeah. We, we promise. That's this is a real. Awesome. Thing. Yeah. It's gonna be That's heavy. Really. It's got like all the little name plaques. You can put like the the game and how what the score was. It's got a big bus on it. Like fucking got the seer horns. Seer horns on it. It's a bitch. Bronze, gold, whatever you want to call That's it. How you write history, right there, boys. Bro, it's legacy. That's, e- e- right. That's awesome. It's gonna be cool. Hey. Even like, bro. That's probably the coolest thing if it actually happens, which is gonna, it actually is happening. Yeah. But like we just gotta get to the finish line right. on it. Like we gotta get signed, sealed. Yeah, I was, happen until I was it actually happens. texting uh, with him the day I said, "Hey, I'm circling back," and he goes, "We will get it done. I promise. I can't guarantee on the timing. We're just uh, hopefully during fall camp." That's cool because as soon as they sign it, I'll send uh, Dave Babble off, and they're done. I sent you the uh, the document. Mm-hmm. The, I mean, document as in the, the scan, <laughs> that little scan of the That's already scan. signed. That's already signed by Harbaugh. the AD, too. He's so you, the one I'm most to, nervous You need about. to have... He's like the farthest out of reach. Like, I know, like, my two, because I, I know them and talk to them. Yeah. Yeah. Like, do you talk to that AD? I don't even I know I have to look him up. Yeah, I don't even know I was know. trying to find his Twitter handle to tweet him, but he doesn't look like he does that. He's business. Yeah, he's Which all... Do yeah, you want, does. dude? you want that? But if Harbaugh's down, here's what I think is Michigan, Harbaugh, that program is so competitive. If you just get Nebraska to sign off, if they don't sign off on it, it's not a good look. Right. If you get three out of the four and there's only one left. And the ADs start marketing it now. Gotta sign it. If yeah. it doesn't happen, they're gonna be upset. Man, that'd be so cool. Dude, that is gonna be sick. And I don't think that'll divide us. I think it's gonna be the most fun, like fun rivalry ever. Yeah, but like if y'all win, I'm gonna be hurt. You're gonna be hurt, <laughs> but you're, you're like we should make all a, gonna play in this. We gotta make a small little trophy. A small one. Like, we have the base of it, but we have the one small, that like lives one in our house on this yeah. side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Actually, <laughs> that's exactly what we're doing. Dude, that's awesome. A little mini trophy. So this is your last year of your contract. No, they signed my fifth. They okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So they picked, they picked, they picked up my option, option. but they're gonna get it done between. They'll get it done before your fifth. I have no idea. What what is, what is the conversation you've had to have with yourself so you don't get too, caught that's up? That's a great question, Will. Just what because I said. It is what it I is. Mean, Every player that's coming on, like yeah, their contract you, stuff, whether it's big, small, whatever the case may be, you're excited to finally enter into the free agency world of because when you're drafted, it gets slotted. Mm-hmm. Obviously, it's first round as you get more money and stuff. But when you get to get into it, and you're like, all right, I'm about to enter these negotiating waters. Like, what's the market? How good am I playing? Like, my value will be here or there. Like, what's the conversation you've had to have with yourself that like keeps you removed from it? I haven't. I don't. I don't play this for money, right? I mean, like that's. I started it when I was a kid, and I love it. I love the game. I love football. I love the grind. So that's the conversation I've had is, like, they always, like, I see shit. You see shit online, right, all the time saying, like, are you making your 10-year-old self proud, you know? Like, ooh, I, yeah, I don't. Oh, that that preach, brother. I'm not, I'm not looking at it like that, you know? I'm not looking at it like my 10-year-old self doesn't care how much money I have, you know? Like, it cares the legacy I leave and how I play this game. And so, like, I want to play it right. I want to do everything I can right. And that, like, that side of it's going to come, right? Like, I'm going to make money. Like, either way, I'm, I'm in a league where you make money to play a kid's game. And so that's going to come. It's going to hit my bank account eventually. Mm. But, like, right now, I'm not worried about it. Love that. That's solid. You said that too, very well, with a lot more like confidence. I really yeah, appreciate there was no that. wavering was, in your yeah. voice. <laughs> that was very. You kind of like you've recited it to yourself a few times. Like you know what you're talking about right now. When he said, "That is hard, though, dude." When you go ahead, sorry, no, Bob. no, 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 finish that. When you're going through like contract negotiations, joke. it's like you play that same game in your head that you're playing. But there's going to come a time where the negotiations have they started or have they not started? Uh, have they give called, him some game? Have, give him some game. Yeah, I'm saying, have they called you? Uh, you you can say right. if they called or not. Like, have they called and offered anything? I don't think so. Okay, no, Neil would tell you if they did. Right, no. At least he absolutely should. CA definitely would. It, what, <laughs> if I, what happens is, 
<laughs> once once offers start going in, yeah. then like that's when uh, ego and insecurity can develop the most. Because yeah. you get the, you're always gonna get you're not gonna get offers like oh fuck yeah let's take that right away. It's gonna be a low ball offer. It's gonna be not a lot of minimum, uh, not a lot of guarantee. And it's like kind of like yo are these guys disrespecting me a little bit. Like what's the right. deal? And then you got to play. Then it is like a business. Okay, like now I am trying to get my money. Mm-hmm. Like you do play a kids game, but there is a point where you're like now's the time for me to make this. Like, who knows if you're going to sign a third contract? Like, let's get this thing done. Right. And then, and then it's playing the game of like, what if I have to leave? Like you, then eventually you're going to have that conversation with yourself. If they're not budging on something mm-hmm. like with the Titans, like they weren't budging for a while. Deadline. Yeah. They play, like the, the, the Titans deadline. went right up to training camp with me. And there was a point I held out for a mandatory mini camp. And they're like, all right, we don't talk to people that aren't here. And they did. Really? And I was like radio silence for like six weeks. And then like two days before camp started up, they were like, started back up. And even like going into camp, you're like, damn, is this shit going to happen? Like, yeah. what's the deal? And you're probably like, you're wondering like, well, that's the hard part. Somewhere right? else. Cause yeah, cause you, and you, you have to go to work every yeah, day. You have to work and then you fall and, in love with, like I, me personally, I'm a Tennessee Titan dude. Yeah. I fucking love it. If I ever had to go, go somewhere else, like it would fucking hurt yeah. bad. Cause like, I've been able to be somewhere for nine years. That doesn't happen. No. You don't get to play somewhere for nine years. I think it's like a very small thing. And so like, I, would be just like torched if that happened. But back then, when you're in, going into year five, you're like, do I want, do I have to go somewhere? What if I don't like it there? What if it doesn't work as well? What if the taxes are higher? Then you, you have to play this game with yourself internally. And it does consume you a little bit. Mm-hmm. Especially if you, I had like a kid and my wife and I'm like trying to make sure everyone's solid. Right. Is, you know. That makes sense. It's a, it's a, yeah. it's a stressful game. No, I, I, I 100% see that. Because you go to work every day with these guys, right? Yeah. And when they offer you something, and like you have to see them every day. Yeah. So it's like, I mean, I'm, but again, like I do my thing between the white lines and I'm good, you know, but yeah. I'm with you. Like I understand where that would, and, where that would happen. And there's a piece of people that are like, what if I get hurt while I'm doing this? Yeah. I'm fucked. And then you're like, oh, nah, everything's gone way down. Right. Yeah. Like, kind of yeah. like, all right, am I going to better myself to get to the end yeah. of the road? George put it really good when uh, he was on, I forget who he was talking to. Maybe it was with Josh Allen. Uh, but he explained it like braces. Like, you know, you get braces, you have them all the time. It's fucking sucks. But once you get them off, you forget it ever happened. Yeah, I did see that clip. That's awesome. Yeah. That's... It's a stressful deal, dude. Uh, yeah. When it happens. Like, right now, yeah. you're not, it's not there. No, right I'm now. good. Yeah. And usually, guys, like, I don't know. I, but they probably, have you looked at historically how the Lions do their contracts? Yeah, I've seen a few emails. And so, <laughs> <laughs> so historically, did they do contracts after year three or year four? Or going into your uh, the last couple of years they did it like this last year. Like mm-hmm. I mean, Frank signed his year four, I think. Yeah. Year four going into year five? Going no, he signed it going into year four and then fifth year. Mm. Like they renegotiated that stuff. But, yeah. But I don't I don't I wouldn't know. Like I don't know how they would want to do it. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I said, I haven't got a call. So it's like not You're really balling. worried about it. You're balling. So I wouldn't I mean appreciate you. Dude. Everything that takes care everything does take care of itself if you just play well. Yeah. That exactly. takes care of it. It just becomes, there are moments you sit there and you lay in your bed and go, what if this happens? What if that happens? Like the game we all play in life. Like even when you're in college, like what if I don't get to the NFL? What am I going to do then? Your you know? brain's weird, right? Your brain's it, like, crazy. It brings up some fucked up shit. You yeah, it does. Life. You can't trust your feelings. You, you can't, can't trust your brain, feelings. Dude. Yes, you that's a great point. And you got to be, you got to be smart and you got to be analytical with everything you do. Mm-hmm. And so, and your brain is like, nah, do this, nah, do that. Right. You know, and it's like, you got to chill for a second and be like, is that smart? You know what I mean? Like, cause the first, like, I mean, I've, we've all been in a situation where we do something like that mm-hmm. and you're like, fuck dude, why'd I do that? You right. Know? You trusted it. <laughs> and so yeah. where it's like, you need to take a second and just be like, all right, let's, let's relax and mm-hmm. understand what's going on and play this game. You know? And that's, so that's why you turn off your phone. See? Smart. You are balling though. I appreciate that. I'm trying. You're fucking stuck. doing my best. Uh, you said it on the last podcast, but Iowa, I know there's an argument going on out there about who tight end you is between Iowa, who's in Notre Dame. Miami. I hate this. Ar- I hate I mean, this no, argument. Notre Dame is pretty solid. Notre Dame is very solid. Yeah. The argument that's usually but like the last like, like 10 years, I'm with you. Like historically, maybe, but like the last 10 years, last. You've got a, the current guys and everything yeah, else. Yeah, I mean, Iowa does have a case. Right. I mean, two first rounders in the same year. And, and then we have George, George Kittle, you know, I mean, here, so uh, so I was argument. in uh I was I wasn't even arguing with him, but Dane Chris, he was a quarterback for the for Notre Dame. 
And he was like going back and forth because I had posted something about tight end you because Michael Mayer was on uh, the podcast. And if you're watching, go listen to that episode. Um, but he was like talking about how the trophy, the tight end trophy is named after a Notre Dame guy. My question is, at what point, this isn't the even. Tight end trophy. Whoa, 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 whoa. The, what tight end trophy? The I, Mackey? He went to Syracuse. Okay. Well I, well, I don't exactly know what I'm saying then, but. I want yeah, is it so, the Big Ten? What's the Big Ten trophy? Is there a Big Ten tight end of the year? But Notre Dame's on the Big Ten. Well, uh, oh, that's right. It's the Quala Clark. Where'd he go? Dallas he Clark. Won that. Where'd he go? Iowa. Iowa. Okay, oh, maybe some of that. But anyway, this conversation just made me think, like, at what point do we rename trophies? I don't think you do. Really? Well, like, say, like, so, for example. In, in 30 your, years? So you haven't got, you know? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah like, say, 30 years from now. So, Taylor, uh, I'll just, I'll ask you for offensive linemen, like, Who's the best offensive lineman that you've witnessed in your, like, generation of playing? Trent Williams. Oh, uh, is he over Joe Thomas? I think Joe's, like, the epitome of consistency. Like, he's a dude that, like, you know he's going to be fine the whole game. Like, Trent just does shit that dudes can't do. Yeah. So, like, decade, uh, decades from now or a couple decades from it'd now. It'd be like a Trent Williams. It'd be like a, yeah, like a Joe a, Thomas a, or a Trent a, Williams a Trent trophy. Thomas trophy. <laughs> you know they, they combine the two. Well, there's like, the Bay Ten. The Bay Ten offensive lineman of the year is two names that are put together. It's like the something Pace Award. I don't know where it's they. Probably the two last names hyphenated. It's probably the two last. That's exactly what the tight end was. Qualic yeah. Clark. I don't know who Qualic is. I don't know where yeah. he's from. But Clark. Look is up uh, the Bay Ten offensive lineman of the year. I should not know it won it twice, but <laughs> Remington Pace. Remington Pace. Yeah. But people so Pace, just Pace played for Ohio State, right? Orlando Pace. Let me see. And then Remington, who's named after the Remington, I think. That would make sense. I think he was a Wisconsin guy. Where, where did uh, uh, Remington play? I mean, Remington play? They say Michigan. I'm not so stupid. Husker. <laughs> no, because. Husker? <laughs> Get out of here. Uh, Remington. No. <laughs> oh, I tried oh to Nebraska. Oh, man, come on now. Come on, relax. But yeah, they, I would do a hyphenated one. But like, do you? I guess. Do you I like, guess all I'm, like the Allen. The Allen trophy. From that is. Do you think that like that's like a valid like? Hey, at what point do we change the trophies? Right. Yeah, yeah. Turn to the the Long Hutchinson. Jake Long and Steve Hutchinson. Yeah. I thought you were about to go with Aiden. I was yeah. like, all right. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm no. Okay. no, dude. Those dudes. Wait. They're the best. They're the best two offensive linemen to play at Michigan. Those dudes are fucking. Jake was a first overall pick, yeah. all pro four first four years he played, or pro at least Pro Bowl. And Steve just got a jacket. So like at what point does the Lombardi change to the Belichick? Right. Oh, I don't think it ever does. It, it doesn't. Should. I think yeah. it should. It, why do you think it should be, but it's just like history, like it started. I, I understand that, but like right. now we're getting into a generation where we're obviously gonna remember every like Everything is like you have technology and everything else to where you have like you didn't have it as much back then. So you when the game started and the best team that showed themselves, the best coach at the time was Lombardi. Like that's all you have to go off of. Mm -hmm. Now that we're getting now that we're getting there's way more history yeah. coming into the league. It's like at what point do you rename it to like, yeah, the Lombardi to the Belichick? Or it's to the Madden, tough, like though. if you want to pay homage to Madden. Obviously so are you forgetting history? Game. Like, you know, what I mean that's tough too. Well, we're tearing, I don't down, know if you, we're tearing down statues. <laughs> hey, just making politics? Yeah, no, nope, not political? in that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> hey, my man out here, we gotta relax. <laughs> but, but, but I think that's like, a, that's like a fair thing, right? Yeah. Like, or, or, I mean, the national championship, is that named after anybody? The NCAA? I don't uh, think it is, no. no. It's, it's got whole... Okay. Yeah, so I'm thinking, like, like, if that was named after somebody, at what point, like, how long does Saban have to be retired before it's called the Saban? Or, like, if you're the Heisman winner, obviously the Heisman was named after a dude forever ago but like if you're the greatest college football player of all time you should like you are the heisman who's the greatest football player of all time in college probably connor shaw get the fuck out of here jv <laughs> yeah when would brady get an award who is the best college football player of all time i don't know i saw something either Richard bush <laughs> sure richard sherman might have tweeted this or Matter of fact, I think it, it was just, it was Charles Woodson. But Woodson's like, you have the Heisman, and then on defense, you call it the Woodson. Even though it's him saying it about himself, like, that's, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, but he is that, like, that's, that is a good point. Like, if it, you got defensive player of the year, like, calling it the Woodson. Because he's like the pinnacle Michigan of, guy? yeah, Michigan guy. 
Huh? They don't have like a I think they do. I Damn, think, I he's spitting facts over there. I think he's right. I don't know. They all get butt hurt like because a, of the Heisman, stuff. Heisman. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't yeah. think you change it, change the name of it. I like them the way they are. We're gonna be, that's we're gonna be we, all afraid that, to change. But I'm yeah. saying like, uh, if that's you, how we. That's how we grew up, though. Yeah. That's how we grew up. At the longer we go, mm-hmm. it being named the Lombardi for that trophy yeah, specifically, I, I it's, do it's cooler that. and cooler every year. It's like an old car. The Lombardi. I mean, people are growing cool. up now yeah. too with it. You know. And he changes the Belichick. It's gonna take a couple of years. Like we're so used Probably to take college like a decade. Oh, yeah. You're so used to the college football playoffs, but like when I got to college, that wasn't even there. Right. At yeah. first, and then they changed it. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if you change it, it's gonna be fine. It'll be fine, and it will, and that's great. But like, I don't know if you change it, it just sounds dope. The yeah. Heisman. What would you change it to? The Woodson. Can you change it to Woodson? It's like that shit's sick. But I mean, we all know the Heisman. Everyone knows I, yeah, the Heisman. Truthfully, I didn't even know the Heisman was named after some guy named Heisman. Yeah. That's why it's called the Heisman Trophy. <laughs> why, why would you think, what does Heisman stand for? It's like German for good football no player? No fucking clue. Like, <laughs> so, oh, you hit the Heisman on him. Because <laughs> the yeah. dude did the fucking... from that song. <laughs> yeah, 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 From yeah, that fucking yeah. song, man. Bro, who knows, dude? Who knows? I'll tell you what I do know. I know I want some tear talk. Ooh! Uh, no, I want a little tear talk right now. That's Have you a good 90-minute pod. That was solid, dude. Oh, oh, oh. Easy killers. God- yeah, Easy killers. Slurp the goddamn ice cube through uh, that hole. Hour to three hours. Really? Yeah, but the time. You know, I think the three hours is, we just did a three hour one yesterday. Yeah. So we, they don't usually go three hours. Who's the three hour? Steve Byrne, man. Steve Byrne. Really? But the yeah. tear talk took a very long about time. about 30, 45 minutes. Yeah. I feel like we might have made a mistake having I think we made a mistake too. Yep. That they get the no. name wall. I don't think that's a mistake. I like that. We were quick. I think the mistake is going three, three, three. Yeah. Three. It's like JP's going to go and he's give his three, two, one. And so now this might not be a wrinkle that doesn't seem fun at first, but maybe it could work out because then you got to talk through it. But say we write our tears on a piece of paper and then we, we show them. So that way somebody's not hearing the entire time what our tears are. I like that, but it, it definitely affects me. That, yeah, affects, that, still, that affects you that affects personally. Me. Yeah, I'm always last. Are you changing? That's self proclaimed last. In my head, because here's the deal I'll look at movies. Like, we're going to do it. doesn't we're, believe in I was himself. looking up stuff on you, and you said you, <laughs> lo- you love Disney movies. Lion King's your favorite movie. Yep. So, we were going to do Disney Ooh, movies. You took mine. Believe that. Believe that. Believe that. <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> but uh, uh, we're going to do Disney movies for our tier talk, like yeah. top animated Disney movies. Love and it. And so, like, in my head, I know what my three are, but sometimes someone's going to pop some shit off. I'm like, damn, that one is fire. But do I change it because I didn't think of it at first? That's the question we all have to play with ourselves. That's so why I think if we if we all did this, you would get some like, oh shit, that's a banger. Yeah. But we do you have, about it. We, do, do we have a chance to change it then? I think it goes in your automatic. I think that goes into because the hard part is you eventually got to go to the internet, and then it's got to be a little bit of a we're competing a little bit more on the internet. Yeah. But if you're doing we're, it here, Will's competing. <laughs> Hang on, you you're not competing. I'm competing. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I got some different tastes. I know, I know. But so what I was going to say is like, even if you do want to change, like I think that's good conversation when we talk about dudes hyping other dudes. Those are opportunities back. That's, that's a really good one. Now here's, or you're just like, man, what the fuck? <laughs> here's, uh, here's, the, here's the issue of like competing in the internet. Like if I wanted to win, the easiest way to win is knowing whatever was going to pick. Like when you picked your sports movies, like you went super basic. Dude. But you know, like, the internet's oh going to take that. Oh, my God. I, yeah. Taylor, like, called me, and he's like, hey, the cameras aren't on. Just tell me if, like, you really believe that. I'm like, yes. No, he didn't say that. We're on the phone for 20 minutes, bro. My favorite sports movies. Rocky. Uh, remember the Titans? All the Rockies. First off, doesn't make fucking sense. <laughs> hang on. What's you're really hanging Rocky on. Rocky 5? Stop, stop, stop. You're really hanging on that. Like, if I had to pick, it's Rocky, the original. Yeah, the, you had to pick Rocky 1. Yeah, Rocky 1. Yeah, Rocky 1. Remember the Titans and Friday Night Lights. Those are my favorite three, sports movies. Three sports movies. Best three sports movies. Yes, and I know that, like, those are... Like, those I'm movies a movies are the player. best publicly received movies. So if I wanted to just win, I would go to what movies are the best? What have the best cult followings? I'm going to pick those movies because I know yeah. Gen Pop is going to go with those movies. But you think Me, that- personally, when I pick Goon as my number one movie, for me, it fucking gives me butterf- uh, butterflies. I got goosebumps yesterday literally talking about it. He did, he did, so he when did. I do that, that movie has, like, a cult ish following but not publicly received by everyone right so it's like i'm gonna lose but if i wanted to win i would have been like uh friday night lights miracle and uh uh any given sunday and people would be like it's a big 
I'm the one. You know what I'm saying? Even Sunday's All a good right. one. And yeah. even Sunday's, but that, I think that's the issue I have is you think that that's what I'm doing. I do. No, that's you, not you, what I'm You want to win some? Do you look them up before you go? Like, no, like if we know it's your talk, we're actually the last couple we've gotten better at like letting ourselves know so we can study. That way we're not on the spot. Mm -hmm. uh, because I did tell Taylor I could I could easily uh uh I totally went off my head, by the way. I didn't look I it up. I could shift out Friday Night Lights for being my tier three. Now I still love Friday Night Lights. Great movie. Yeah. It just might not be my tier three. But the way we did it, that was the day we were at the hotel doing tight end doing oh, tight yeah, end you yeah. for a few different guys. So we had to like think kind of quickly. Foster one was sweet. Yeah, that it's was that was fresh. His for trash. He that said was, a nice tale for one of his first movies. How did he say it? The he medieval, medieval times. Yeah, medieval. Yeah. yeah, bro, he's so funny. Bro, he seems like a he's dude hilarious. you want to be around. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's the guy you want to be with at the cafeteria table. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's for real, for yes. sure. Yes, for sure. His his vibes, from what I've heard in the clips I've seen, give me Robert Splane vibes. Am I often saying that? You're like uh, they're just different people. You're yeah. often saying that, but I know what you mean by like being a grinder, like loving ball. Yeah. Because Foster said on the pod, he would, he would, he's like, I don't know if I should say this. I would take less money to stay to chase championships with the Raiders. And that's how he said it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, hey, so, you know, say Speak whatever you want to say. Me. Speak your Speak truth, truth. Yeah. Um, Hype him up, dude. Hype him up. So that's kind of our history of the tier talks. Right. Yeah. So tier talk, basically, do you follow tier talk? Do you know, like, yeah, I know what we're doing. You're, you're allowed to give an honorable mention as well. An honorable mention. Which I, I have. Which I, I have. love, I love which how I that's just acceptable. Yeah. Honorable mention is good because it's like, damn. Will right. try to put two there. Will low key, <laughs> he's, he's not, loose no, no. as fuck with these rules. <laughs> he's super loose. But I think that the makes three, it they, the three Rocky makes movies it. really fucked me up, bro. No, yeah. That no, shit no, fucked me up so bad. <laughs> well, like, but we can't do like, that. When we did those movies, like, we all just kind of like chuckled about it that I'm choosing like multiple movies. No, Garrett and Jack were literally saying, like, yeah, during Tight End You, Will really did whatever the fuck he wanted. Which what three does that even did you mean? Pick? Which three movies did you pick? Rockies. It was uh, Rocky one through three. I think those were the best ones. Okay. It would go one, three, two. Okay. Yeah. That's not awful. Isn't Rocky five? Doesn't everybody love that one? You're thinking four. Rocky the four. Yeah, the Russian. The Russian's way too like it's like a mainstream and it's way too like fake. All right, let's hit these. Are we? Yeah. yeah. So, so you Tear read talk? them? Tear talk is gonna be uh, over animated Disney movies. Just all of them. Just yeah, I guess all of them. So you guys okay. only Disney though. It's not all. Yeah, of them. yeah, only Disney. Not like Pixar. I think that'd be a fun one too. Pixar's got some bangers. They do. Bangers, but Pixar is now acquired by Disney, so. But we know what we're talking about. It's got to have that Disney label. It's got to have that little bunk, 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 and he jumps in the eye, and that's, the eye. That, that's looks, Pixar. I know. I'm saying oh. that's, that's it for a Pixar movie. That's what you got to have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right. okay. I don't thought ever, you were about don't ever, to say don't that. Don't ever rip me again. <laughs> <laughs> but to your talk. Are we explaining that? Do you explain yeah. why? Yeah. 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 Come on, Matt. I thought you listen to the pod. I do, but I don't ever know if you want if you want that. That's always better. If you yeah. just rattled them off, like, listen, we're gonna make your chart. Your chart's gonna say it. Right. You share it online. Um, <laughs> but the best part is getting your. We'll see. You have to. You have to say my name right. You have to spell it right. Oh. Peter Hawkinson. Have we not been doing that? I spelled it wrong. <laughs> I was gonna say, damn, hey, you gonna say. JP, That was quick. That's, you got ahead oh, of that. That was on me. You got ahead of that. <laughs> I, I saw him comments. Yeah, I wanted to I was. I deleted it. I was like, you know, that's that's a little rough move, especially after Will dropped all those balls. I was like, all right, damn, <laughs> that's crazy. Dude, with the great. I love that. No, I appreciate it, bro. I knew something was coming. The way that that was setting up, I was like, fuck. <laughs> oh, you didn't even know about it. No, when they make the trailer, they just make the trailer. Damn. Okay, I like that. We got a good squad, man. We got a dude. Our yeah. squad is well, elite. You just think I'm the one making all these it? trailers? Uh, maybe. I appreciate that. Like, I'm just working. Out the photo of, like, of his Madden rating. Anything that's about Will, Will tweets. <laughs> yeah. I didn't tweet the uh, um, collab I did with Jack when he photoshopped me in there. Now, that is usually true. Like, I'm my biggest hype, man. No question about it. Don't make me sound do you, uh, do you You are on a Madden rating? Do you mm -hmm. actually have a real one? No. Really? Even though you were in, you were on a team last year. I think it takes for the season to start for the free agents to be calculated in. Oh, uh, okay. I did hear Kaepernick's on it though. He's a free agent. They probably just need that for the sideline footage for the national. Yeah. And make sure you keep that in the podcast. Yeah. Right, right wing Willie. Right wing Willie out that's here. Just, that's just, I think that's you know just funny. Kaepernick's on there, but you know they need that. <laughs> you see, hey, you see what goes through Taylor's brain when I say that. Oh, that motherfucker Kaepernick, man. <laughs>
Problem as middle as they come. Relax. Um, so yeah, tier talk animated <laughs> Disney movies. You're gonna go three, two, one. If you throw an honorable mention, that's kind of like a trick of the trade. Like you want to shout one out that you can't include in your top three. So you only get like, three. Yeah, you're because you're like. So I'm, I'm going all at once. Yeah, you're going to go all once. Is, am I, I'm the start of that. Though, here's right? the deal. JP's going to go first. Because okay. JP, because he's here and there's no other boys to fight with, he's going to get his first three. How JP does it, you're allowed to elaborate as much as you want on your movies. Yeah. Like me personally, I like to give a little context why I have the movie, right. the things that I love about it. 100%. Here's what I want to ask you, Taylor, before JP goes. Huh? Them boys back there were spending some, some game before we got to go. Should we pick ours, go ours first, and they just do theirs last? No. Are we looking things up? Did yeah. You think about that. They're spitting game. Yeah, like if he says something, and he explains it well, and it's something we got to piggyback on. Like it kind of takes the flavor out. Are uh, you like the friends thing that happened to us yesterday? Yeah. No, I think it's fine. Okay. Proceed. Oh, my tier three. No honorable mention. Yeah, no honorable mention. You know I keep mine quick. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go with. Oh, look at those. I'm gonna go with uh. Where was it? Oh, Hercules. I thought you were going to touch on it. Like, oh, My tier three is Hercules. Mm, Am I giving you all of them right now or no? Yeah. Yep. All right. Tier three is Hercules. Tier two. I'm going to go with. Let me go with a goofy movie. Mm. A goofy movie is one of the most slept on movies of all time. From a goofy it ass is. kid. Dude, that, <laughs> when they get locked in the car with the bear. God. Bro, or that Bigfoot. It's not bear. It's like a Bigfoot. Yeah. That shit is kind of nerve wracking. Skateboarding on the mall. Yeah. Skateboarding. <laughs> they're fishing. They're always getting to antics, baby. And the spinoff they have of uh, when Max goes to high, uh, college and he's like skateboarding with the boys and stuff like that. He's falling in love with that jazz chick. Ooh. Bro, the character arc of Goofy. Smoke is now, too, unreal. dude. Yeah, some baddies that in the Goofy movies. <laughs> some baddies in the Goofy movies. The way you looked up, she's a smoke, too. Dude, dude. Bro, hey, listen, of all the dogs. Mm. All right, go ahead. Um, and yeah, then my from Aladdin, my oh, tier one yes. exotic boy. Oh man, <laughs> I feel like everybody's about to have the same one, so I'm not. Should we should it. we label a god tier? I think we should. Well, what is it? God tier only happens if it's everyone's tier one, right? But should we just openly talk about it? maybe move the mics and whisper to each other? All right, let's. This is all cut starting now, ladies and gentlemen. We interrupt this podcast to bring you yet another ad. Listen, up, upside. From cringing at the pump to getting an eye-popping check at your favorite restaurant, infl inflation is hitting us all where it hurts. And it really hurts. That's why we started using Upside. Upside is an awesome app for anyone who buys gas, groceries, or dines out, aka literally every single person ever. With every purchase, I'm earning cash back thanks to Upside. To get started, download the free Upside app by using promo code BUSTIN to get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. Next, claim an offer for whatever you're buying on Upside. Check in at the business, pay as usual with a credit card or debit card, and get paid. Let me see here. Oh, download the free Upside app and use... I should have read this better. And use promo code BUSTIN to get $5 <laughs> or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. I need to do that again. That's $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more using promo code BUSTIN. I apologize. That was a stutter fest. But listen, upside, right? Upside. Inflation's a little crazy right now. We're, get, we're absolutely getting, we're getting robbed at the, at the gas pump right now. I'm not, and listen, we're not a political podcast, right? We're not doing that. We're not going down that road. Upside, baby. Use it, love it, live it. Back to the episode. And so my tier one, it might shock some people. This is when I think I got my first soft spot. <laughs> you know, I was, born, I was born from the concrete. Uh, it's going to be Bambi. Whoa. My Bambi. old school. Wow. That's yeah. real old school. Sometimes you, just, sometimes you just need to get a little emotional in that scene where, you know. That's almost too You got to bring that up. I know. Talking about the mom? Yeah. <laughs> you said when you had your first what? Your first feel? Like probably when I, you know, when I started to first soft, felt something? When I, no question. Yeah. Probably the first time I cried during a movie, maybe. See, I think mine might have been uh, Lion King. Really? I think the Bambi one might have been like, it was like a shock factor. It was. Like, oh, shit. It was like, dang, that's really life? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, those are my uh, 
Your dog. Hey, Fox movies. and the Hound is like that too, though. No, there's so many good ones. No, bro. Fox and the Hound was, I don't know about for you guys, it was like my, I guess, first Disney movie. Yeah, it was up there for me. You yeah. know when you open, you know when you open the box and it kind of like clamps down, like the big boxes, the big cases. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, okay, click like, it in. Yeah, I yeah, I know what you're saying. That was my first like movie. Yeah, I was left up in the corner. Man, those yeah, were yeah, JP, those, those were solid. Yeah. Those, yeah. those are solid. I like those. Those were good. I like it. Is it it's, it's hard because these have been around for it's so my long. Turn? Yeah, yeah. So if you want to give an honorable mention, go for it. You don't have to do these. It's just like a guideline. Yeah, it's just a guideline. Right. An honorable, so I got to start with an honorable mention. You don't, you don't have, have to. to. You okay, can well, no, I will. Tears if you'd like. Um, let me think. I got to think of one. So my honorable mention, because um, Will Smith played it, but it's not, it's not new. I'm not talking new, because I loved it in the old ones, is Aladdin. I loved Aladdin. That was my favorite. The, yeah. the flying carpet, I used to get on a carpet and literally fold the front and be yeah. like this. But I, I love we've all Will done Smith. that once or twice. So the new one was that fire. When he played uh, the genie. Yeah. But, and Jasmine. Yes. She was good looking. Come on, I felt something. <laughs> oh, for real. <laughs> I felt something. First time that soft spot got hard. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. First time? Don't you have a kid? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean by oh, that? Oh, you're talking about the live action. No, I'm talking about cartoon. We're talking about cartoon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Talking about cartoon, yeah. Jasmine. You know, Come what's on. This, what's this feeling, mom? <laughs> That's tough. Buddy, don't touch yourself. Um, oh, you keep it going. Hey. That was. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. How old were you? Uh, my number three Young Buck. would probably be, I got to think of it now. So I had, because we took the Lion King. That's, that's. Lion King is God tier. Right? That's, that's God tier. It's unanimous. We, we had to, we had to throw that one out there. Um, my number three is probably the Little Mermaid. Oh. Okay. Yeah, you about them smokes. Interesting. The Little Mermaid. <laughs> Flounder? Come on now. Though you had the you had flounder, you had um, when she learned how to walk. That was my sister. I have a sister, right? Mm-hmm. And she always made me watch the like the actual princesses. And so I used to dress up a little bit. She's eighteen months younger than me. Who'd you dress up as? Uh, yeah. No, we used to- <laughs> who'd you dress up as? No, I used to. Have, like, she had wigs. She had all that. So like when I was little, dude. I mean, I was being a good brother, you know. Who did you dress up as? Little Mermaid. Uh, I had the red wig. <laughs> I had the. I had the. Did you have little. Did you like have a little? No, I didn't have. I didn't have all you that. Really walk? I didn't have all that, but Do I was a good photos? brother. Do you have photos of that? No, they're not being sent. <laughs> oh man. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Right. But no. you know, you know, his dad was like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it turned out. It turned out okay. <laughs> no doubt. Dude. No. Doubt. You no, like but, that? You like being Ariel? That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was uh, that like Disney growing up was like my biggest thing, right? And so when I had a little sister and we watched Sleeping Beauty, Snow White, all those, the Cinderella, classic the cl- classic, the classic uh, princesses mm-hmm. were sweet. So I had to put one of those in there, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah okay, that's interesting. I can't, I can't go. Well, Peter Pan was fire too. You got that up there, but I can't say that one. But number two is the Jungle Book. Number one. It's a good one. No, I'm number two now. That was honorable mention. Yeah. That's right. That's yeah, right. come on That's now. A great movie, Jungle the Book. The Jungle Book was fire. Mm-hmm. The, the Bare Necessities. And yeah. forget about your no, no, worries and your life. That's a good movie. That is fire. A solid one. You wow. made up for that. Yeah, laying in the river. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then my number one is Tarzan. Very solid choice. That's a yeah, solid movie. Solid That's choice. a good one. Jane and Tarzan just yeah. taught you to not trust humans. Right. Right. Yeah, you know? no, I love that pick. That's yeah, a good I'm a big fan of that pick. Do you know it's in Will's Tears? Yeah. Is it? Well, yeah. I mean, the way he acted, yeah, 100%. Yeah, we'll be hey, making an appearance. I would say that was a solid tear talk. Tier, tier talk I appreciate right it. There. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> my, uh, uh, my honorable mention, and um, this was like a movie that came past kind of my generation, but I absolutely love it, is Finding Nemo. That's my honorable mention. I thought Finding Nemo was absolutely incredible. Could feel a lot of different emotions and feelings. Uh, my tier three is The Incredibles. Mm. I'm a big fan of like the superheroes. Isn't that, I'm pretty sure it's a Pixar movie, yeah, isn't it? Say, is that Pixar? Google that. Yeah. That. I actually have. See, what's Finding Nemo, too? <laughs> I just looked up Finding Nemo. Finding Nemo is Disney. Is it? See, I wouldn't have known that. This is big. Whoa, wait a uh, I'll take that back. 
Finding Nemo was produced by Pixar and released by Walt Thank Disney. you, because that would have been in my top three. Yeah. I apologize, yeah. boys. I apologize. <laughs> what was the other one I'm looking up? Uh, you're looking up The Incredibles. Man, my man loved Damn, Pixar. he did his research, huh? <laughs> That's All right. tough. So, pick a princess. <laughs> <laughs> my boy is rattled right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a little shaken. I'm a little shaken by that. Um, He's going to pick the first one he sees now. No, I'm trying to think about it. Give me a fucking minute. My, um, my honorable mention now is going to go to Aladdin. You guys have already heard me speak on Jasmine. Um, rocket. Yeah, rocket ship. <laughs> I love Aladdin. I think that's, that was like, you, that was your honorable mention, right? Or your tier three? That was my three. My tier three is going to go to Emperor, Emperor's New Groove. I was a big fan of Emperor's New Groove. I thought it was hilarious. Um, Emperor's New Groove, number two, is going to be Tarzan. I fucking love Tarzan. I thought that was a phenomenal tier one by you. It treats you to fucking not trust humans or whatever. But the scene where Tarzan battles the gorilla. Oh. Oh, he All late. fucking time. What's the gorilla's name? Is it like... That's a tough like one. Like Kerchak? Uh, yeah, Kerchak. Oh, I think it was. Yeah, pulled that out. That's Kerchak. I went from the hip on yeah, that. Yeah, that was nice. nice. Yeah, that was nice. Good memory. Yeah, but when he's hanging, like you're sitting there, you're like, man, could I? And then you start kind of walking around the gra the your your backyard, seeing if you can kind of yeah. be built like Tarzan. Curl but the fingers. That fight scene against Kerchak was incredible. That's fire. So my tier two is uh is Tarzan. My tier one. This was this is an all timer. It's up. It's definitely like one of those things that's up there in every ranking, I believe. But Toy Story, mm. Toy Story, like when the alien gets picked out of the thing, the whole uh, the You're whole killing me. That ain't whole... Disney. What? It's not, yeah, it's not Disney. You're killing me. <laughs> is Toy Story Pixar? Yeah, it is. We just talked about it. Toy Story was the first. Toy Story was the first Pixar yeah. Disney collab. <laughs> The 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 light jumping on the eye? Come on. Boom, 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 boom. One will be the god tier Lion King. <laughs> <laughs> I guess move them all up. There is no fucking um uh, there is no goddamn honorable mention. So wait, run my honorable mention is gonna be Fox and the Hound. Yeah. Okay. Wait, so run through your one, two, three. So my one now is Tarzan. My two now is uh Emperor's New Groove, my three is Aladdin, my honorable mention is Fox and the Hound. Lady and the Tramps, another fire one. Yeah, they cool. don't have that up there. I'm, 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 I'm. You could have picked that one. I'm shaking right now. Because <laughs> what I did, I, I was I typed, in, I typed in animated Disney movies when I was going over it last night. I was like, oh, these are my fucking yeah. ones. Huh? The Lady and the Tramp. We all know what my uh, top three tiers are going to be for uh, Pixar. <laughs> <laughs> for real. All right, all right, all right. So God tier is uh, Lion King, correct? Yeah, I think afterwards we definitely pay homage by talking about how good the Lion King was just so we can absolutely get that out there yes. in the universe. Okay, let me move that. And then, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. So you're smart writing them down. I try to go off the cuff. I know. Well, this is like last night when we were talking about it. I was like, maybe you should. I had nothing to do. Let me write these boys down real yeah. quick. That's smart. That's a smart thing to do. Uh, okay. <laughs> I would like to. Can I switch one? <laughs> Your show, man. I think I already switched. This is fucking crazy accident. the way it will, dude. The way it will handle your talk now. I know. Go ahead, uh, switch one. Hercules. Hercules would be my three. All right. What was I your love three? Hercules. Um, Emperor's New Groove. So now, so now Will, <laughs> now <laughs> flustered. Now Will has. Bring it all seven down. movies he's talked burn, about. Burn, burn, burn them all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So my honorable mention, and it's a sleeper, like kind of forgotten about movie. I thought it was fantastic. And, and it involves appliances, trying to find somebody so they don't sell a cabin. That movie is the brave little toaster. That's a good one. Yeah, that's Dang, a good one. Okay. Okay. I love that movie. Cause I knew last night, this is why I'm happy. I did some homework. I was looking at movies and I knew like the ones everyone has said, but I was like, what do I not remember? And I looked up, literally looked up like, uh, forgotten Disney movies and Brave Little Toaster was on there. I was like, bro, that was a fucking hitter. So I had to say the Brave Little Toaster is a banger. I forgot about that one. My tier three, and it has already been talked about, I think, uh, the bonding between father and son going through adversity on a cross country camping trip is something that needs to be talked about. And I hope I get to do that with my unborn son someday. And that <laughs> is the Goofy movie. I think the Goofy movie is fantastic. My tier two. Is a movie that even when I watch it now, it makes me fucking laugh. 
I enjoy it, dude. You have an emperor who's an absolute asshole to everybody that walks around. He's, he's just drunk with power. And then this scrawny Cruella de Vil looking cat wants to give him a little bit of poison. Hey, but big muscle buddy fucks it up, turns him into a llama. And that is The Emperor's New Groove. Phenomenal movie. I love it. It's outstanding. And my tier one is going to be a little bit of Greek mythology. A young boy is born by his dad, Zeus, and I don't know who the mom's name is. He is sleeping in his crib, and then Hades' little gremlins want to go and snap his ass up. They try to kill him, give him the potion. It doesn't work. He's, the dad's fucking pissed, and he lands into the world found by a sweet older couple who raised this young, strong, strapping young lad who's a bit of a klutz. Straps him in, puts him in this small town. He doesn't know who he is. Finds out who his father is. Gives him that internal confidence he never knew he needed. Goes and sees this half goat, half man who has gotten everybody, every hero that's always let him down. He wanted to find the one, that one that would transcend a God level. And he wasn't really willing to take him. But he finally does. And through bumps and bruises and adversity along the way, my man wins his right to God send up back with his family and be the legend we know him. And that movie is Hercules. Damn. That was a great description. That yeah. was great. No, yeah, thank no, you very you much. That was story. my tier one. That was my tier one. Um, I would, did want to say on the, the Brave Little Toaster, that was like the first movie I watched it. Like when I would first go to like daycare or school, like, mm. and they played on the, you know, that standalone TV that yeah. they wheel in. Oh, well, but the it's Brave a hitter. Toaster, yeah, it is. It's a hitter. You get the mad vacuum, the, the upset vacuum. Another one that's actually Pixar that I really wanted to put in my tiers, legit put them in, was All Dogs Go to Heaven. Mm, great one. Yeah. Great one. Yeah. Great one. Bro, that one was a hitter. I literally had to Google that. Like, is this Disney? And it was a fucking Pixar movie. Yeah. yeah. Pixar got some bangers. Got some bangers. <laughs> we should have done Pixar. Who was a Pixar guy over Disney? Yeah. Who would have known? For real. Who would have known? I dude? love the Pixar movies, bro. Clearly. <laughs> yeah, obviously. We had four Lion of them. King, though. I mean. Dude, Mufasa. Where, where, was, where, where was Lion King? Are we cutting right now? Oh, wait, wait. No, no, no. Now. Dude, but Lion King, though. <laughs> yeah, Lion King, though, is really that, dude. It is. Timon and Pumbaa are like the sleeper MVPs of that. No. Ra, who's the monkey? Rafiki. Rafiki. Rafiki is the sleeper of that entire movie, dude. Y'all could tear yeah. the characters of Lion King. Oh, we oh, should yeah. like tear the characters. I mean, we. I, can, I, I said my three. <laughs> should, we, should we do it right now to pay homage to God tier? Yeah, I'm down. Pay homage to God. I love, I love where this is developing. Yeah. All right. This is your movie. This is your favorite movie of all time. You got to hit us with it first. You can go. I, I have to go first. I want The Lion King's your favorite movie of all time? It, yeah. No, well, not of all time. In that little article, I read five things you want to know. Was it all time? I said, dear, if it's your favorite movie. Oh, really? Um, yeah, if you could tear the characters, what would you do? What am I going to pick? I was, trying, I to, I was trying to look them up. Love Lion I need all of them. I remember standing yes, there in we line. Go. Like, I remember standing there's, there's and the a line lot was wrapped around the theater getting in. Scar, Scar can't be up there, right? Yeah, you can put Scar in there. Can be up there. Got Zazu. Zazu. We got some gremlins. Yeah. Zazu's, 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 Zazu's a fucking nerd. Which yeah. one's Zazu? The bird. No disrespect to you, Zaz. Zazu's elite, but he's a nerd for sure. Yeah, he's definitely got, he's like the Rafiki sidekick is founder top. vibe. Rafiki is your number one? Mufasa's god tier, right? Dude, Mufasa is such a fucking legend. He really is, it's like dude. like the mystique about him. Like, obviously, you don't get him a whole lot, but the mystique of Mufasa. Nala's such a fair, such a fair leader. Mufasa origin movie. Yeah. Oh, bro. That would be elected. That would be great. this man. Oh, <laughs> hey, JP just did something, dude. Right. Nala, elite, coming to get Mufasa. So, yeah, who's your, so who's your three? My three? Um, do I have to tear him? Is it Sim or is... Uh, yeah, tear him. Just tear him. Is Simba number one, or what are we thinking? This is this is your this is your vibe. Okay. No god tears. No god tears. Yeah, like you can like Simba's obviously like he's a stud. I'm going Pumbaa in the hot tub. Uh huh. As a tier three. Tier three. Okay. Number three, keeping me warm in the hot tub. Easy. Uh, when I was a young warthog. When I was a young warthog. <laughs> Un outstanding. Um, number two would have to be. I mean, it'd have to be Rafiki, right? Be this is you, brother. No, I, it's no. He's I'm, working I'm through. With he's you. Just, he's yeah. thinking out loud. He's, yeah. he, you got it when he does it with you know holds up Simba over the over the um, the rock, elite, writing on him with the what is it the grapefruit? Yeah. Yes. 
And then number one's got to be Simba. Of course, right? Taking on Scar, just killing him. Yeah, I at mean, the end, returning it to Pride when, Rock. Right. Right at the end when he, when he does the exact same thing he did, Scar did to Mufasa. Yeah. Just uh, elite. Yeah. Right? JP, what do you got? Tier three, easy, Ed. <laughs> Fucking love that one. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love that thing. That is hilarious. That is so awesome. I love it. Easy, Ed. Two, I'm going to go, uh, yeah, I'm going to go Pumba for two. And then my one is Rafiki, mainly for the speech he gives uh, Simba when he's like trying to hype him back up. Look, like, look at the star. Oh, yeah. duh. So those are, yeah. Oh, my God. Knock him over the head. He's like, ow, what's in the past? <laughs> yeah, it's in the past. Great one. Yeah, that's solid. I'm gonna go. Um, Ed was such a good pick. <laughs> I do love it. That is a good pick. Honorable, ma- honorable mention, Ed. Hey, hey, <laughs> yeah, honorable mention, Ed. He literally said, "Oh my god." I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go. My uh, my three is Rafiki. Oh, he's the middleman that brings it all. Brings it all home, like you said. He motivates Simba. My two is Simba. Simba is Jon Snow before Jon Snow came about. Jon Snow <laughs> brings everybody together. Simba, it's the same thing. He's got, he's got Timon, he's got Pumbaa. He's bringing everybody along with him. Simba's my tier two. Obviously, he defeats Scar. He brings Pride Rock back to what it rightfully was before Scar took over and made it to just a shitty spot. Like, what are you enjoying? He may turn in the hood. Yeah, like, what are you yeah. enjoying about that? You know what yeah, I mean? Right. Uh, one, <laughs> Mufasa. Damn. Mufasa, the Masika Mufasa. Like, you were always looking for that figure in your life that you wanted to make proud, whether it's your father, your head coach, and anybody. Mufasa's fucking got it because he's teaching the young cub everything that, like, touches is our kingdom. No, you don't go over there. He's got to save Simba uh, a couple times. He gives him a nice stern talking to, and then he's with him. Like, obviously, Rafiki kind of teaches him to talk to him a little bit more, uh, but Mufasa's my number one. He's a present father. Yeah, very impressive. Yeah, he's, pre- he's impressive. He's impre- he's and he's impressive. got fucking, uh, what's his name's voice? The dude from Sandlot, Darth Vader. Yeah. James Earl Jones. Like, this boy's spitting. You need to have him on the bus. Bro, for real. You're out there really doing it. I love it. My All right. Dad, um, yeah. I needed to come back. Something clean on TikTok. I just it, butchered that Disney movie. It, thing if, if we're doing uh, if we're doing honorable mentions, like I give honorable mention to uh, Scar. I think he's an outstanding villain, that's a, that's dude. A good when he fucking yeah. claws him and fucking throws him into the buffalo, the water buffalo. Oh my God, bro. What a fucking elite move. And in the live action one, dude, you legit, it's like, rock. it kind of fucks you up. You seen the live, live action one? I think the live action movie oh is so, my so God. shitty. Shitty? Yeah. Live action movie? You really? Oh, oh, brutal. I hate looking at Pumbaa on it. So, yeah, it's, it's tough. But I think that, 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 okay. like live so action. Ugly. I liked it. I thought it was really good. Damn. I watched it with a little, uh, little five year old boy, just me and him hanging out. Oh. Split on it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was the worst live action movie that Disney's done so far. Really? And I was really let down because I, I like we all love it's God tier. Like I love yeah. the Lion King. Yeah. Um, Ed is my tier three. I he he is just a goofy. He's a villain, but he's like you know. I think he's there by mistake. Like he kind of like got adopted by the squad, and like yeah. he's got a good heart at the same time. Yeah. Like he's a good ass dude. Uh, my my tier two. Hasn't actually been said, which I'm really surprised about, is Timon. I think Timon's fucking awesome. His dynamic of Timon and Pumbaa is great, but I think Timon, without without Timon around, Pumbaa dies in 15 seconds by any other predator. (laughs) It's over. And I think Timon does a good job of steering that ship and keeping him alive. But my tier one is, uh, I mean, dude, this guy was a modern-day philosopher. Rafiki was, he was outstanding. The marking, the wisdom... Uh, it makes you think, and it's one of those things that you don't appreciate when you're a younger kid. Like you don't really give a shit about Rafiki, but then you go back and you watch it, right. and you're like, "Damn!" Like Rafiki really was just spitting truth the whole time. And he puts the whole thing together. Like yeah. mo- the motherfucker catches like what a piece of fur to realize. What does he say? He's back. Yeah. <laughs> and he gets all hyped that Simba's not dead. Remember, uh, yeah. Scar made yeah. him run away. They chased him off, and then yeah. they're like, Simba and Mufasa died. Together. I might watch that movie tonight. Yeah. yeah I, I might watch I that movie watch tonight. It last night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so damn good. But those are my tears, and I'm I'm proud of those. I can't believe y'all didn't say uh Timon. I mean, Have Timon's seen- a good one. I yeah. love all the characters. It's just I had the big three. Have you yeah. seen the Lion King one and a half? Yeah, I've seen no. them all. Have you seen Lion King uh in there too? 
Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. A two, a one and a half. There might be. The one and a half is elite because Timon just narrates the whole thing. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. It's, that's cool. It's, it is really cool. And they're like watching it. Yeah. That's when they're, that's when they're young cub. It's like Scar's sister or Scar's ex-wife. They have a young cub. It's like a little, like a little mini Scar. Is and then this a little, the number two or one, one, one and a half? half? Yeah. I think it's just the same story, just from the backside. I'm thinking of two then. Yeah, you're yeah thinking so there two. is a two. Yeah. Where their cubs are like... One and a half is literally the exact same story. It's just from Timon and Pumbaa's side. And yeah. Timon narrates the whole thing. Okay. Like he's sliding down the, the the waterfall and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know, yeah, I know which one you're talking about. But there, there, yeah, there's a two. Like, there's like a nephew involved. And like, yeah. some of Scar's family gets involved trying mm. to... Yeah. Know, that whole thing. That's fun. That's yeah. a tough oh, one. when you add more characters like that. <laughs> Damn. All right. Solitaire talk outside of myself. <laughs> I, I think you know what when you look at the nuts and bolts of what you came with like after all the fluff of what had to happen through your Pixar debacle you're gonna like your graph right. I, I'm gonna like the graph but I'm gonna have to like you know I, I clearly I was not prepared for this tear talk I do like my movies like I'm sitting there listening to you I'm like Taylor and I can watch Disney movies together oh yeah like I was telling Gary with the sitcoms yeah he did, he did good in this yeah, Finding Nemo good would 100% have been in mind if it was yeah. Disney I remember even Finding talking about Hercules last night while I was laying in while I was laying in bed, like going through them. I was like, "Hey, Hercules is a fire one." Mm -hmm. But yeah, I love. I don't even know what my three are. <laughs> <laughs> bro, he came with That'll three be, Pixar movies. It was two. Yeah, it was two. Right? No, your honorable yeah, mention. No, your honorable Tarzan mention was in there. Tarzan is now my one, which is wild. Finding Nemo, which, which kind of makes it Toy bag, Story all and The Incredibles. Around. Finding Nemo, Toy Story, and The Incredibles. Yeah. Those were your three. No, Finding Nemo is an honorable mention. Uh, I was in there with Tarzan. But I'm saying, like, your that, Pixar movies, yeah. that's what's going to be. Oh, I get to use those? No. Oh, you're saying when we do Pixar <laughs> TikTok? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. It's done. Yeah, you don't even have to talk. It's already chosen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's great. So funny. That that's funny. That's funny as hell. Fucking great pod. Yeah, we appreciate it. Danny, dude. Oh, yeah, I appreciate it. When do you head out? Sunday. I'm excited. When do you guys um, report? Tuesday. So I'm going to go up there. We have a little golf thing on Monday. So I think we're gonna, I'm going to be a part of a par three closest to the pin with uh, it might be the hockey team or something. But hockey players are really good at uh, really good at golf. Golf, Yes. They have a stick in their hand all day. I know, dude. I wish we got more hockey players on there, but they're just. You need, have you had four? Have you had Phil on there? No, Phil. You need to get Phil we on had, there. had um, Yossi on and he was, he was good. But it's like those dudes are like trained their entire life to not speak publicly. <laughs> Like, oh, they're, really? like, totally, like, yeah, when they get a mic in front of their face, they just clam up. I like, Johansson's a fucking beauty. Like, that dude's all time, and he's hilarious. But I bet you if he came on here, it'd be, like, washing paint dry. Yeah, he's he's hilarious. He's I'm, awesome. Yeah. Uh, he had put me in touch with James Neal, too. James Neal's uh, my neighbor. And so, I think he played he played for here. James Neal's a hockey James player. A hockey player. And he played for the Predators, and then I'm pretty sure when the expansion game, uh, expansion team of the Vegas yeah. Golden Knights... He was plucked from there. So. Got you. Chell's my go-to, so I, I like it. Yeah? I love hockey. Big Chell guy? Big Chell guy. If, oh, dude, one thing we missed that I really wish we I was a part of was video games. Yeah, video you, games. Oh, you missed that? Yeah. yeah. I think I liked it. I'd actually like to see uh, Kittle on the sticks for Super Smash Brothers. I'd like to see him on the sticks for that. See what, how. Do you say who he plays with? Who's your character? Yeah, I was going to ask. Ness. Ness? Ness is yeah. stud. Ness is my If you can figure out how to play with Ness, like, it's, he's... I was going to say, because they all have their I'd own, play, like, combos uh, and stuff, right? I'd play on the, um, the Switch with you. Nah, Switch is lame. I, the 64 is I'm where it's at. I would play on the Switch. Like, I would just have to get, once I got the 64 going to figure out the controls, like, I'll play with you. I have a 64 at the house. What's I'll the big pink guy? Uh, Kirby. Kirby. Kirby's, Kirby's like, yeah, I mean, Kirby's like, everybody loves Kirby. Kirby's your beginning character yeah. that you play, like, okay, yeah. he can float around. I know I'm safe for a little bit. I can yeah. kind of just dive bomb on people and make this break. Right. You but that, suck, man. that'd be my tier for sure. I fucking love Super Smash Brothers. Shout out Jack Greenlee, dude. He basically taught me how to play that game in college. This kid is, I've never seen somebody so fucking good. Like three on one taking dudes out left and right. Mm. Yeah. But you know who the best in the Titans locker room is? Your boy. It's not even close either. Have you had that? Have you had that competition? Yeah, Dennis Kelly used to get on the sticks. Jack Conklin got a lot better. On 64? Yeah. Did you bring it in? We brought in, I have three. 
Damn. I have one oh, from when yeah. I grew up. I have one from college, and I bought one, and I what bought are they it. Going? They're, they're, they're going for like 1500 the... now, aren't they? Are they really? Yeah, oh, so. you boy just sitting on some cash then, bro. I think they're going for a lot. 4500 bucks. Just have, a, have a nice one now, right? I'm missing. Yeah. I'm not... <laughs> Super Smash Legit is one of those games, too. It's like toss like 60 bucks to buy now. Yeah. I was a big Mario guy. Mario Party, Mario no, 64. Like just regular, regular Mario, Bros. Mario Bros. 64 Mario on uh, when you jump into on the paintings. Yeah. Yeah, that was those were dope. All right. That's like a fun one player game. I was Mario Party. Devil Sin was a hitter. Golden Eye, bro. Love hey, We it. should legit do tier talk of uh, 64 games. I agree with that. Because yeah. George, we had to do all of them. I would like to do like how we did mm. Disney. Like, you Zelda? do N64. You do PlayStation. That's a really good one. You do Xbox. Almost too many. Yeah, man. man. There's too many video games you, to choose from. Right. I know. That, right. It was so hard gamer? to fucking pick, bro. Yeah. Uh, sometimes. Yeah, you put you on the sticks? Yeah. Every once in a while. I'm not huge into it. Like I'll I tell said, you. I like Chell. And I used to be Let me so lead at Chell. But I liked your pick for Red Dead Redemption. I would have picked Red Dead Revolver, though. Yeah, I know you like that. Like, I like that. That was on, like, PlayStation 2, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, it was on Xbox as well. But, yeah, Red Dead Redemption, yeah. I fucked with that. Yeah. I never played the uh, Revolver one. Yeah, Revolver's dope. Do they have the characters of Red Dead Redemption? It's kind of like, there's not as much of a storyline. It's not like free range, but it's dope. Yeah. Like you just, but you still like acquire better guns, better horses and shit like that. Yeah. It's cool. George's number one had to be Halo, right? Yeah, it was like Halo. I mean, he's got a tattoo of it. Yeah, was, Halo's the reason why I bought an Xbox as a kid. That's like why I went to Xbox. Xbox. Yeah, I was never a Halo I guy. I still have a PS5 now. Do you? Yeah. Oh, those things I'm on sick. PlayStation. Uh, they say yeah. the real gamers are on really? PlayStation. Really? That's what I heard. Like, I yeah, really. PC and PlayStation are like the real gamer moves. I see. I've, uh, well, no, the that's PC not. I was literally about sure, to lie. They're like, they can do a lot of shit on those. Bro, things. PC games. You guys ever play Diablo? Uh -uh. Bro, that I've, shit was un. You had one though when we were going through that Skyrim. I love Skyrim. Oh, yeah, that'd, that'd be my college. tier too. I thought Skyrim was. The best. It reminded me so much of Diablo. Diablo it's 3. Like Game of Thrones, set, bro. Dude. That shit was awesome. And it's like Thrones. Yeah. Skyrim. That shit was What I didn't awesome. like about Skyrim is like the main storyline was really short. If you actually just did the main storyline, you get through it in a few hours. Or a couple of days, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but like, and then like the side ones, like Boy, you really gotta like you really gotta do your homework on the game and figure out like who you wanna be, like how you, you can be a thief, you can be a You're vampire, right. you can yeah. be a whole bunch of stuff. And once you choose a path, like you really can't go back and change up. You can, oh, but it just takes, it's going to take a long time. Yeah, it's not even, but I liked it. I was all in the blacksmithing and shit. Like, that was my number one go-to. Dude, I always wanted to be evil, but I just never could. Right, you just want to be the evil. hero. Bro, I'm with I know, you. Hey, I'm the exact same way. Have you played Oculus? I would tell myself, like, man, I want to be the villain. I, yeah. I could never do it. <laughs> Bro, have you all played Oculus? Like, dude, oh, the, the virtual like reality? Yeah, virtual. So was Bro, insane. I was playing uh, Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. And it's legit, like, you grab a gun, you're holding a gun, uh, like, you have a backpack to store shit, and you, like, create things. It's fucking awesome, dude. And the, it gives you a lot of choices, whether you can be good or bad. Do you have an Oculus? Golf on yeah, there, I do. Sweet. It's fire, bro. Dude, there's a rock climbing game, too, yeah. and that's scary. Like, when you first do it, you're, like, oh. rock climbing, moving around, you'll look down, and your legs dude, will shake. Dude, that shit's feels oh, real, bro. Scary. You like, legit feel like, like, I'll, like, step, and I'm like, oh, shit, like, I, like, I'm a... It freaks you out. There's a paranormal activity game too you can play. No, Bro, you sir. walk into a room, you walk into the house, and then like you do something, all of a sudden you see something run, you're like, yo, what the fuck was that? And then you're like walking, you can move your like your sticks to like walk instead of like actually walking. And like you go into a room, then you come back and the front door is all of a sudden boarded up. And you have to like find these things and, and like basically put this puzzle together to like I didn't beat it, but shit's Crazy, bro. Uh, the, uh, Star Wars one on there? The huh? Star Wars one's awesome. Shit? That's awesome. You, you run into like shit, yeah. Choke. No, no, no. Like, we talking about in real life? Yeah. That you got to pull out, no, it's, use. It's on. fucking That's sick. Hype. Yeah, force push. Oh, it was hey, awesome. What about the video I sent y'all when, <laughs> like, my girlfriend walked in on me playing the Oculus. She knocked on the door. <laughs> he was in there. God. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, oh, um, shit. No, you don't want to You got to clip that in there. You can put a... You could like put this like protective ring around you. Uh, so if you okay. start walking for real, it'll actually like turn gray and you'll be able to see the room. And be like, oh, shit, okay, I walked too far. That's so cool. it's kind of a nice deal. Yeah, that is. And dope. you can like, you have basically hold these two things. You can move around and look around. Yeah. If you like turn your head to look around, then you move like the left joystick to like walk. One of my buddies said golf on there is really sweet. Yeah, I heard that shit's dope. Yeah. You probably feel like you're in just beautiful spots, dude. That's what's uh, cool about it. Go to like, Pebble Beach. Yeah. Do you you're think you're really doing it stuff? out there, too? Do you think you're really fucking playing? Like, yeah, yeah you're really in all this. Like, we're really headed from, like, a virtual reality standpoint. Like, we're headed to Ready Player One. Ready Player One, bro. Yeah. We're headed. You're lying. 
But this is like, he got cut more. Isn't that what NFTs are? Isn't that, didn't someone tell me that? Huh? Isn't that what kind of NFTs are? Is like the virtual world? Yeah, they're yeah. talking about the, the metaverse, right? Like yeah. the, non fungible the... tokens? Yeah. Right. Yeah, they're sure going to be I doing that stuff for sure. Like, you'll be able to probably watch football games on the sideline. From the like quarterback's view, they're talking about. Holy shit. <laughs> That shit would be crazy. I oh, know. That would be. Or from like, uh, up, any, imagine from me from walking up. Player's <laughs> view. Like, say any player's view. People would like, understand you how and hard you're it sitting is. there, like, you know, Miles Garrett. You're about to go against Miles Garrett, like, watching it from your helmet. Play as Will Compton. Ooh! Shit, by that time, though, you'll just be in the, you'll just be on the couch somewhere. <laughs> Dude, imagine picking like a player that doesn't play and you're just like on the sideline with the boys. Fucking <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> go, boys. <laughs> Third string ass cat <laughs> sitting there. Man, coach ain't let me play. Hey, you could hear him. Man, coach yeah. didn't want me to play. He trying to. He hating on me. <laughs> he's doing. He hating on me. Running down on kickoff though. Yeah. Punt set. Oh shit. On a swivel, bro. People, people will start watching that and be like, oh, football. Yeah. It's a lot harder than we all think. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, you moving around? Shit's so fast. Shit is so fast out there. People might stop talking shit. Nah, nah. that'll never stop. Twitter lawless. Oh, all this world. Yeah. Dude, there's too many people that look up their name. I'm like, dude, how do you do that? I couldn't. I've done it a you few still, times. Yeah, for uh, sure, man. It's not like, uh, not all sunshine's a scary rainbows, world. man. <laughs> no. You got to Google yourself. World. That shit hurts. <laughs> yeah. The one that would be the shitty part is like typing your name on the, on Twitter search. Yeah. Oh. oh, you've done that. Yeah. I put like the quotes around my name to where you're <laughs> just saying Will Compton. Oh, shit. Yeah. It's not like, yeah, you don't want to uh, see yeah, that. Back when I was on like the Redskins, that was the that was yeah, that was that hurt. That'll put you in a yeah, bad for sure. bad mental. Especially when you think you're like playing well. Yeah, but these <laughs> well, you know, well, not think you're playing well. You know you're playing well. Obviously, that's when it affects you because yeah. you're like, oh damn, people have this certain perception. Yeah. No, they don't understand the game. Right. Sometimes, like your coach would be like, dude, that was awesome, and then the same play, people are talking shit. For yeah. sure, for sure. Yeah. What? what people are haters, dude. That's all oh. people are. Yeah, great pod. Good Bust job, with guys. the boys. Subscribe, rate five stars. We're on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Pods. Do it all, man. Appreciate you, boys. Yeah, appreciate you, appreciate man. Yeah. It was fun. Be healthy this year. Yes, sir.